Gents, teddy bears. Can get my uh, little hello and intro, but here we go. Let's uh, see how many lorries we're going to get on this. Oh, hello. Skim the lorry. Oh yeah! Ladies and how are we doing this morning? Hope we're good, hope we're feeling well. And even in, even introduce myself, didn't even get a chance. Good catch. Yeah. Alright, Ted, where are you? It's a bit big that flag for this one, Ted. You're gonna need to downgrade it a little bit. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, I will do my uh, usual intro. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RF Waddington. Makes a change. Go, Ted. Ted's on. Here we go. How's that? Is that better, Ted? The fix is just a bit bushy around here. Hopefully, the traffic will thin out after nine Yeah, after nine o'clock it starts to get. Yeah, obviously for me it's actually. Yeah, yeah it's a bit emotional. Oh my god. 
whoa. All right, might have to just uh, do some impro, improvisation work here. We're in the wild, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We are in the wild. How's that gonna look? Yeah, that's fine. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, it's a little bit busy, but it'll figure, it'll thin it out in a bit. All right, so apologies for the background. It's all we can do. So uh, how are you doing? Ted Coningsby channel live here at Waddington. How are we all doing? My name's Nikos and uh, we have our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby here. So I'm your cameraman and your presentator, uh, your commentator <laughs> as well. Well, this is our main... So uh, I hope you enjoyed, I mean, hope you enjoyed the uh, charity flight that we put on today. The funny thing is, when Ted gets airborne, his left, his right ear, yeah, pings out. It's really weird. So like, Ted, have a look. Look at his one ear, bless it. But when he's airborne, look at this, Ted with two ears. <laughs> I reckon they, they, they sorted it out for him. So I think it, they, where they had him, it pushes him. <laughs> that was good I hope you enjoyed the charity flight thank you all so much I'm going to do this live thank you so much everyone £9,000 we raised for the Head Up charity £9,000 that is just massively awesome so thank you everyone who's uh, who, who donated for that thank you all so much absolutely amazing the traffic should thin out later so it should be all good. Ted Coningsby Channel Live here, at RF Waddington, for a little bit of red arrows, hopefully, and of course to see the uh, Canadian Air Royal Canadian Air Force CF-18 Hornet. So let's see how we get on. Runway number zero two and two zero, nice and good. So should be all good here. Nice, should be a nice relaxing day today. There might be some, uh, might be a little bit of uh, skimming the lorries and emotion if you remember last time. Um, but hey, you know, it's all we can do at the moment. Lazy! Also some great news is that we've sold out of the Ted Coningsby's first ever party. All sold out, all 100 tickets gone. So all sold out. In a way that is kind of good news. It just shows how popular it's going to be. Uh, that's no, it's not, because I can't go. Uh, Colin can't make it. We've got a very good friend, Colin Bramer here, who uh, who's, uh, kindly supplied us with not only one of the pictures of the Vulcan for our charity book, the bear that wanted to fly, but also the uh, couple of the thumbnails, which is, uh, which is all due respect to him. And you picked that date on purpose, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> So all is good. So yeah, we're here at RF Waddington for the uh, little bit of Cobra Warrior and I'm hoping to get you a little bit of red arrows actually as well. So that'd be nice. So we're hoping to see the CF-18 Hornets. Now Cobra Warrior is a biannual event, uh, exercise, sorry, not an event, well it could be. Um, <laughs> it's, it's run by the, it's the biggest exercise run by the Royal Air Force. And with lots of aircraft dotted about. Hope you enjoyed the charity flight. Who we got on? First of all, a very, very warm welcome. Let's warm welcome to all our spanner flight. They will keep the channel sweet and neat, keeping it safe so that you can have a better experience on the chats. It's a family military aviation channel, so if you feel that you have to hide some letters, then don't put it on at all. So, very good morning to Spanner Flight, Chris Bloxham, Amy, oi oi! Gaza 29. Talk to me, Gaza. Weather report, please. Thank you. Hope we're all good, sweet and neat. And of course, our regulars. And of course, our members. Aaron Oxford, how you doing? Paula, how's it going? Kevin, David Payne, how's it going? Yep. Yeah. Triple Six has just uh, returned. Good catch. Michael L, TK photographer, watching from Germany. We got Netherlands in the house. Stephen Parkin, how's it going? Eric, Julie Jackson. How's it all going, Tim S?
Um, Stephen Tyrrell, Mr. Grimsdale, how's it going? Zaid. Zaid, uh, Zaid um, give me a message. Hope everything's all sorted now. With, um, so, yeah, let me know. Stu Martin, John Cotton, Paula, Bobo, Macca Maiden. One Mike's, one Mike B's. How's it going? Mr. Chicken. Hey, Mr. Chicken. Watching from Germany. How's it going? Regards to German Army Ted. Uh, Belinda Morley says the charity flight was awesome. Oh, well done to all of you who have uh, donated. So thank you so much. Thank you, 48. How you doing? So you're watching from Germany. John Minter, how's it going? Eric, Jim Messenger, Colin Booth, Stephen Mann, Paul Blick. How's it going? Again, the uh, background noise, apologies. This is like probably your best viewing area spot. And unfortunately, it is by a main road. Luckily, they have slowed down to 30, but uh, I don't think some of them are going 30. Anyway. Do be careful if you do come here when crossing the road. It is a very, very busy road. Um, if you're worried about incoming traffic and you haven't got a scanner, they do have lights here. So it's always a good indication that something's coming in. Stephen Tyrrell, good morning to you. So we've got ILS Runway 4, always a pleasure. How's it going? Richard Brown, Ted's Taxi, how's it going? <laughs> Richard Brown is Ted's Taxi Service, I love that. Donnie Edwards, morning to you. David Hardy, good morning. Peter Thomas watching from Mablethorpe. <laughs> Kernick, we'll see what Ted can do. Um, Royal Australian Air Force is awesome, can't wait for the F-18s. Saw them fly past. Mike Weaver, good morning to you. Sam Thurloway, morning to you. And there you go. Traffic's starting to die off. The rush hour tra traffic should stop fizzling out very shortly. So let's just get this on straight away. Start hitting the like. You know what to do. Hit the like and uh, that will get YouTube buzzing. The more likes a video or stream gets, the more YouTube will recommend it. So you know what to do, start hitting the like. I think there are approximately, I think about seven, I'm not actually sure in total, but I think there's about seven CF-18 Hornets of the Royal Canadian Air Force. And uh, today I want you all to enjoy Ted's charity flight. Like I said, we've raised, with all your help, couldn't have been done obviously without your donations, a whopping 9,110 pounds. So I've just gotta, just cope with that some of that background uh, noise there for a minute until we can uh, get you some more action to cover the noise so hopefully they'll go out in about fours or two and twos let's hope they uh, send them all out so keep an eye out on ADSB see if there's anything else coming in Mick Riley, good morning to you. How's it going? Hope you're all good. Hope you are all well. Uh, 
Do -do 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 -do. Hope we're all good and buzzing. I can't wait to see the uh, uh, Royal Canadian Air Force uh, CF-18 Hornets. It's always nice to see different aircraft and it's usually the case here with Cobra Warrior. And they only have the um, one set of fighter jets here, whereas previous, you know, they what we had last time was the Finnish F-18s, Belgian F-16s and the Indian Air Force Mirage 2000s, which is a lovely mix. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, you are right, they, they, it does. If you just joined us, a very good morning to you, wherever you're watching. Ted Connigsby Channel Live here in Lincolnshire. It's a, it's quite a busy station, or at least it used to be. Um, but with regards to being the hub of UK intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance, the iStar, it's the main operating base for the uh, intelligence aircraft, etc. Um, so you've got Air iStar and the RAF's eyes and ears in the sky. Provides British and NATO military commanders with critical information uh, about activity on the ground, in the air, and at sea. Uh, they have a motto for faith and freedom. Squadrons based here, we have 616 Squadron, Royal Auxiliary Air Force, 13 Squadron, 14 Squadron, 51 Squadron. We've got 55 Squadron, 56 Squadron. Uh, we've got obviously the Red Arrows, uh, 7006 Squadron with uh, Royal Auxiliary Air Force. 7010 Squadron, 7630 Squadron, uh, Royal Auxiliary again. 92 Squadron, we've got 2503 Squadron, the Royal Auxiliary Air Force Regiment. We've got five. RAF Police, I-Star Squadron, 8 Force Protection Wing, loads here. We've got like a training centre for the Air Battle Space, the Royal Air Force Waddington Voluntary Band. We've got number one intelligence, surveillance and recon reconnaissance wing. And then you've got the ISR Squadrons, number one, two, three. Uh, then we've got 54 Signals Unit, ISR Support Squadron, the Mobile Meteorological Unit and the defense warning and reporting flight and of course we mentioned the red arrows uh, which is now their home here got a complete mix of aircraft we've got a reaper mq 9a we got the uh, shadow r1 and of course as we just seen land the uh, the rc 135w rivet joint but then i suppose we've got to add the hawk t1 here as well Just a few dates, uh, 1916, uh, got the Royal Air Force Waddington open as a Royal Flying Corps training base. So that's quite nice to, to give it a little bit of its history. Did have the first Lancaster Squadron, number 44 as well. Thanks Gazza for that. It's 
So yeah, in 1935, Waddington was, uh, well, we can go a little bit back. The airfield and the old World War I buildings came back into use, by the way, uh, when it reopened as the home of 503 County of Lincoln Special Reserve Squadron in 1926 of November. Uh, this squadron flew a variety of bomber types at Waddington until 1938. So it was always, it was always influenced as a bomber station. And in 1935, Waddington was selected for expansion and new complex of buildings, uh, which were built on the northwest corner of the airfield. The new technical site opened in 1937 in March, when the airfield operated Hines, Blenheims, and from the start of Second World War, Hamdens, and eventually Manchester's until December 1941. But then, as we mentioned, the first of the Avro Lancaster entered Royal Air Force service with 44 Rhodesia Squadron at Waddington. It was uh, with this unit that the squadron leader, John Nettleton, and hit the Victoria Cross in April 1942 after leading a daylight attack on a German U-boat engine factory in uh, Augsburg. And don't forget we've had Vulcans here, we've had, uh, we've had Canberra, so after the Second World War, Waddington hosted a variety of Lancaster and Avro Lincoln squadrons and a squadron of Lend Lease Washingtons before preparations began for the arrival of the Vulcan bomber. And in 1955, two Canberra squadrons arrived, and the first Vulcans arrived in May 1957. August 61, three squadrons of Vulcans formed the Waddington Wing, which remained here until March 1984. Speaking of the Vulcan, is it back over there? Yeah. Okay. Where's the Vulcan these days? Um, it's the bottom of the angle. Oh, it's not here now. They, uh, they've repainted it, they took it in for restoration, it's all repainted. But it's supposed to be coming back, but I, I don't know if they're going to do something with the area or not. Yeah, it would be nice to see it. So, by 1961 in August, three squadrons of Vulcans formed the Waddington Wing, which remained here until March 1984. Uh, with the type's planned retirement being postponed because of the Falklands conflict, uh, Waddington provided the free Vulcans for the uh, Operation Black Buck raids that bombed Argentine positions at Port Stanley. So with many Royal Air Force tankers supporting the air bridge to the Falklands, six Vulcans were hastily modified for air-to-air -air refuelling duties to support training back in the UK. But today, Waddington is one of the RAF's busiest operational airfields and its squadrons and personnel are involved in supporting operations all around the world. Despite the demanding operational tempo, the station continues to maintain a high profile and has delivered record-breaking air shows until 2014. I still think RAF Cranwell is still busier. But we'll have to, uh, we'll have to go and have a look. With lazy written on it, I love that. <laughs> I love that lazy sign. Lazy. Look at that sign there now. Uh, no, I left mine in the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, of course. If there's any uh, little <laughs> little leaves I can just pick out, I will do my best. 
I'm doing some pruning. Paul M. Hennings, how you doing? Good morning to you, Alan Burden. Oi, oi. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, John. Um, like likewise, we are looking for some, uh, looking forward to some hornet action. So, hopefully, sort of between half nine and ten, should get our first movements. We hope. They don't seem to be where the Finnish hornets were in March. But yeah, like I said, it's a biannual event. Uh, event, I keep calling it event, biannual exercise. And uh, March and September usually. Still emotional. Um, it hasn't really, really moved since last time. So uh, yeah, very busy road. So do be careful. Foddington, one of the places that has a runway caravan, and that will give you an idea what runways in use. If you haven't brought your scanner, again, look for the runway caravan. There are lights. So if they start going off, then you're not going to miss anything coming in. So, just remember that. Okay, I'll try and uh, try and sort that bit. Leafage out. Leafage is a good one. Canadian C-130 just left Presswick on the way down. Yeah, hopefully it will come here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it'd be good if, they, if it does come here. <laughs> Stu Martin, yeah, we got leafage today. <laughs> Yeah, another another one to add to the uh, vocab leafage. Ash Watts, two months service with the squadron. Thank you very much. Yeah, nah, I just, I just don't give him an excuse. Just tuck it there. You good? No, oh, Black Hawk NZ, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, thank you, really appreciate the super chats. It does mean a lot. It does support the channel. Thank you very much, Black Hawk NZ. Guards march. Let's see if we can fit Ted in here. <laughs> Let's have a look, Ted. Ted, can you get in that, mate? Yeah, Ted's in. It's going to be a... I bet Reggie would love this in here. This is his, Reggie's kind of thing. The regiment loves all this sort of stuff. Bushes, mud, twigs, leaves. I love all that. Thank you very much for your support, Black Hawk NZ. Thank you very much. Hello, mate. How you doing? 
Are you good? Hang on, I'll do, let me just, just whack this on here, mate, and I'll come and say hello. Yeah, good to see you. How you doing, man? All right? Did me into into the, the fine spotter the hand now. I know, you know, it's it's it. Margot, thank you for gifting 20 Ted Coningsby memberships. Thanks so much, Margot. You're an absolute star. And I just want everyone to remember how proud we are. We raised £9,000 for charity uh, for the flight with Ted and Brighty. So thank you all so much for that. £9,000. That's a lot of money. Lots of money to, for a charity, for our armed forces. Margot, thank you from Scotland. Careful, Ted. Thanks, Margot. You're right, don't know. This is my kind of thing here now. 
can just hide in here look look at this this is my type of thing there now i love this trees hedges bushes mud i love it rivers streams swamps the lot there now i love it there now that's how we do it in the raf regiment my name's reggie this is my type of thing here now i'm just gonna relax over here there now Oh, he's, he's made himself at home now. Look at him. Look at this. Proper commando just blending in. He's loving it. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> These hedges are like real bad. So I'll do my best to try and get a shot without them. Hope we're all good. Hope we're fine. I can't wait. Things will change as soon as we get the uh, hornets out. Margo, wow, uh, um, thank you very much for Ted's Lossy Mouth funding, wow, okay, thank you so much, that is, wow, um, that, Margo, thank you very much, I am absolutely gobsmacked, and I can't wait to get you uh, a Hornet, just, just, you know, I'll dedicate one of the Hornets to you for that, Margo, Guards March for Margo Baxter, Ted Coningsby channel live here at Waddington. Colloquial, no, colloquial, uh, I'll start again. Just locally known as Waddo. Yeah, there was one this morning. Yeah. Margo, thank you very much. I was talking to um, so when I first started, actually, the, I, actually this is really really nice because the gentleman to my left and the gentleman to my right were the first people I ever met down at Reedham Lane. Got Eric to my right and and Colin. Yeah, you just find them, mate. And um, and yeah, it was your fault. And actually, when I first got, uh, started coming to uh, Coningsby with with my camera, it was the the, the the very two people here that I first met at Reedham Lane. So it's actually quite a nice. Nice little like, Readham Lane re reunion that day out. So it's really, really nice. I really appreciate it. And uh, um, I think Eric uh, does a lot of trains as well. You do train? Motorbikes. motorbikes, that's it. Got his own flicker, so thank you. And then obviously we got Colin as well, who uh, has his uh, fly art. Oh. Okay then, okay. <laughs> I'll remember that, Cadwell Park. Ah, uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. But yeah, Reedham Lane is an excellent place for photography because, well, if there's a practice display, you're in for a treat. You're not really datum. You are under the display. But the, the other good thing is that the light, the sunlight's behind you at Coningsby. So uh, when you're at Reedham Lane, so it's a really, really, really good. If you're into photography, go for it. But anyway, back to Waddo, and let's hope for uh, F-18 Hornets. You can see the emotion of the, uh, of, look at these bushes. Look. Well, we did get a good treat this morning with uh, the arrival of an RC-135 rivet joint. Davey, good morning to you, watching from Northumberland. Chris Bloxham, oi oi. How are we doing? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Selwyn Owen, good morning to you. Jonathan McDee, Paul Harris, good morning to all of you. Lots of you taking advantage of uh, Ted Connersby memberships. Courtesy of gifted memberships from our very own Margot Baxter. Uh, Mayhem Marshy, good morning to you as well. Liz Speechley, morning. Could be a good day, we hope so. We hope it's going to be a good day. Joe Trinotto, Margot is the best. Couldn't agree more. 
Yeah, Reggie, Reggie's loving it. Reggie's got his own little spot now. Can only see the mush. Don't forget, please put on shrubbage and leafage. Mycroft Holmes watching from Australia. How are we doing? 270 of you need to hit the like button. Yeah, Reggie's, uh, Reggie's just literally just made himself at home now. Spot the regiment. He's loving it, isn't he? Yeah. Eey, eey. You're right there now. Taking cover under here. I'm loving it down here now. This is my home. Look at him there now. He's loving it. That's the Raff Regiment there. Yep. A lot of shrubbage and leafage. Just like, just how the uh, regiment love it, really. The more grit, the more edge on the end of stuff, they love it. <laughs> See, unfortunately, they're not on the... Uh... Mind you, I'm pretty much in the same spot as last time when I was here in May, in March. And this this bush is just completely overgrown. And you used to be able to see the, uh, the hornets parked up. Right down the bottom. Are they? Yeah, uh, over that side. Can't really see them, can we? No, I'm not sure. Oh, like when the tornado, uh, the yeah, the yeah, yeah when they yeah, were we'll yeah. Them right down the bottom. Yeah, it, it tends to go up and then drop down a little bit. We've got an E3 Century as well, I can spot. It's got the older. It'd be nice to get the red arrows as well, hopefully later. You never know. I don't know if they're here or not. Are the red arrows here, anyone know? They have come back, okay. What's that stomach going out? Something's, something's flashing. Apologies for that leaf there. There's no way I'm gonna, no way I can get that. That's actually quite far in. I'm technically on the base if I tried to grab that. Chance to teddy bears, we all good. Hope we're well. Oh, totally. I mean, the tornado was my favorite aircraft. 
when I was a, a youngster. And uh, it was only a few years ago that I only worked out that the uh, tornadoes uh, weren't really flying any, well, weren't flying with the Royal Air Force. I had no idea. I didn't even know what a typhoon was. That's how far I've come <laughs> with the knowledge that I've had. Keep you posted on all the all the movements. And, uh, keep you updated at the moment. There is something flashing over there. Zaid heading to Waddington now, still an hour and a half out. See you soon. Well, see you soon, man. Guards March for you coming up. Thanks, Zaid. Thanks for the uh, super chat there. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Zaid, guards march, there's Aid there, he's on his way, thank you very much. Guards march there for Zaid for that, thank you. we're going to get some movement like I said between half nine and sort of half ten is our sort of our indicator Ted sort of uh, Ted sort of hot, um, prediction there now Craig Bruce at Hale heading to Wellington on Wednesday, one to one. Have a good time. Thanks a lot, Joseph Booth, retired BAE Tornado team. Well, thank you for serving. UK Lemons, how you doing? But yeah, when I was uh, when I was younger, the uh, tornado was my favourite. I used to sketch and draw the tornado quite a lot. I used to build the models as well, and uh, for some bizarre reason, for whatever reason, I, I, I'll tell you what though. <laughs> I think it was more the fact that in case things went wrong um, when I used to buy model aircraft scale model aircraft I used to buy two um, now I would as, a, as an adult I think yeah one to build and one to keep but it was more the fact that if I got it wrong <laughs> but actually it's turned out good so all the scale models I bought I've actually got another one still in the box I think the, uh, one of the um, if you remember the old uh, airfix ones it's when it looked like it was on some sort of um, Looked like it had some sort of technical map detailed paper that, he, that they used to stick the aircraft on. If you remember that, with sort of like a dark background. I don't know if you remember the, the old Airfix ones. 
before they started to get into the more color ones it, they had a set format it was like it was like the aircraft was sat on a, um, a bit of like either a map or a technical drawing then if you remember that and then behind it was just all dark background uh, but that's the uh, that's the ones I had I've still got I had the Hawker Hurricane I've still got the Tornado GR4 F3 believe somewhere I've got a Vulcan as well in that format yes tornado f3 i've got an efa typhoon not of that that um not on, from that era but yeah i've got that i've got the efa typhoon so when it was in its sort of did a production one was that oh thanks Nine, yeah that's the one 1970s fx do you know the one i mean don't you it's like they, they had a generic format they used to sit the aircraft on what looked like a map uh, or a technical drawing and then the back uh, the behind it was it was like it was put you know it was done in a sort of like a workshop it was pretty cool but yeah i've got the old school uh, it's still got on some of them not all of them still got some of the cellophane wrappers still you know that clear cellophane wrap still on them with the old price i think it was something like one pound 59 or something was probably like a million pounds <laughs> but yeah that, those were the days I, mean, I used to yeah i used to build and paint them and um hang them up and all sorts of things um i had a phantom that was nice i had the phantom falcon tornado gr4 just trying to think and oh, sorry gr2 uh, and just trying to think of the others hurricane spitfire lancaster uh just trying to think what else i had the apache that was quite an interesting one to build Oh, right. They used to be a proper big one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've got one. I have got you have that one. My stepdad bought me that. That one. But I've got the Volkman's one as well, still in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Still got that. Um, yeah, I used to buy two of everything. Well, you could do that then. Yeah, you can't now. Yeah, you could do that then. Um, yeah, in case I messed it up. But um, so I actually still have them in the box. That's quite good. That's quite nice. Yeah, he's loving it there, isn't he? I bet not forgetting. Probably gonna die. Big shout out to all the scale model crew. If you're building one today, enjoy. Again, the background noise should fizzle out as, as the day goes on. And obviously get busier again about half five, five o'clock. Oxford, thanks for that. The collector's items now. I, honestly, I've got. I must have about it, anywhere between sort of 50 and 60. About that, it's still in a box, untouched, some wrapped. I think the oldest one I've got. I, I, I don't know. I actually don't know what the oldest one would be. Either the the Hurricane GR2 or the Vulcan. I'm sure I've got some classics. Might even have a matchbox one actually. But yeah, I, used to, I was FX all the way. <laughs> yeah, I used to love it. You know, you get your pocket money and you go and buy and you spend hours and hours. Take your time getting all those little bits and pieces. That was really good. I used to love doing the decal, uh, the, the, all the all the decals on there as well. That was nice. I used to enjoy that. It takes time. It, it's you know, it, I've got to hand it to people that do it. It does take a long time and that smell never gets tired. I'm not sure how good it is for you, but <laughs> it never gets tired, that smell.
Phantom, nice there, Aaron. Brilliant. Yeah, I've got the. Uh, just trying to think which one I've got. It, again, that 1970s era. Um, it was the F4 Phantom, but it had. I'm sure it had Marines on there, US Marine Corps, I think it's that one. Or, no, I'm just trying to think, US Navy. I think it was US Navy I had on mine, that one from that period. How are we all doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Yeah, another another home of the Vulcan here. Um, it used to be visible as a gate guard, but at the moment it's having some paintwork done to it. It's not here yet. Gaza, thanks for the weather report. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. another good one remember thanks for reminding me I had that one as well all is good Ladies and Teddy Bears, uh, hopefully in the next. Let's have a look. Okay, so my prediction was between half nine and half ten. We'll get the. Uh, should get the Hornets out. Let's have a look. get some lovely Hornet action. Come on. Hey, just even if you're driving along this road, just just be careful here. It is quite a busy road and some people just don't get that you're indicating to go in a uh, viewing area and as you can hear in the background, some people still getting excited and emotional about it all. <laughs> No worries, but yeah, do take care if you're on foot as well. Crossing the road, it can be very busy, very, very busy. Start hitting the like button now, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, because when the hornets come out, you will forget. Smell beautiful jet fumes here. Jet fuel, yeah. Oh yeah, lady sheds, teddy bears. Come on, not long to go. Got that. The uh, Voyager that's taken off Corsair Madras. That's already just heading out to the North Sea. So Corsair Madras usually uh, is for Cobra Warrior. It's, uh,
did you hear? <laughs> ah, okay, fair enough. That's fair enough. Oh. Come on, Hornets, where are you? Royal Canadian Air Force Hornets should be coming out, I'm, I'm hoping. But like I said, between half nine and half ten is usually. But uh, part of Cobra Warrior, the uh, Voyager from Bryce Norton is already airborne. It's already past us, heading just over Coningsby right now and heading for the North Sea. Of course, Simon Madras, what else we got coming out there? Just, uh, just gone over the sea right now. Just gone right over Chapel St. Leonard. Oh, St. Le Le Chapel St. Leonard. There we go. I'll get that right in a minute. We've also got an A400. Master, but I think that's on transit somewhere. But yeah, real, real strong smell, smellage. It's a bit of smellage uh, of jet fuel. Oh, 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 it smells good. Haunting sound, a little bit like the F-15s, a little bit like it. Um, I remember it from uh, Leeming. And with the wind blowing towards us, it can be better in a way because you can hear all the things going on down the end. It does amplify the sounds. Yeah, I just heard him. Yeah. yeah, you can hear him. Just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was that on there? Yeah. Oh, I've got good hearing then. I, I actually heard him start up. Really? Yeah, but I was thinking, you know, I now have a bit. Yeah. But luckily the wind's blowing towards us. Yeah. So you can hear oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Another one. Another start up. Yeah. My hearing's still good. Oh, you have to scan <laughs> Yep, that's another F-18 startup, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. Come on. Yep, definitely hear them started up. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, that's the F-18 started up. There's more, there's another one. All is good. And uh, there's gonna be more than two on this one. I've heard two. Um, there are Hornets 
and a gentleman just uh, to our left has confirmed that on his scanner. So not long to go now, we'll be getting Hornets. Margo gifting five tech Connie's memberships. Now's the time to start hitting that like. Ladies, gents, teddy bears, come on. Let's get it on. is going on here. Right, ladies, shirts and teddy bears, get ready. Margo, thank you. Margo, thank you for gifting five Ted Connorsby memberships. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ladies, shirts and teddy bears, now's the time to start subscribing. We are heading for 29,000 subscribers. We're at Cobra Warrior Live here at RAF Waddington, and uh, it's lovely to have you on this lovely day. I can hear stuff going on. I can hear aircraft moving. Something's moving. Oh, yeah. Something's on the move. All right, here we go. It looks like the E3, isn't it? to get some clearage of the leafage leafage so usually you get the red arrows parked about here
century, Anito. Got the uh, set that faced at Luxembourg.
one E3 and one uh, river joint. Some start, like I said, a rivet joint in the morning coming into land, um, which was nothing to do with uh, Cobra Warrior, but the E3 certainly was. Something else buzzing in the background. What else are we going to get? 1,000 of you watching, start hitting the likes. Come on, let's get a thousand likes already. Come on, Ted Coningsby Channel live here at Cobra Warrior. Or shall I say, live here at RAF Waddington for Exercise Cobra, Cobra Warrior. And I didn't say an event. <laughs> I've been saying event instead of uh, exercise, but you know what I mean. Oh, what else is buzzing down there? Come on. Yep, on the move. Another one on the move. Here we go. Gonna need some likes here. We've only got 471 likes with 1.1k watching. Come on! Otherwise, I'll have to get squadron leader. In fact, we're gonna have to get squadron leader. Come on, hit the like. That's all you gotta do. It's over a thousand of you watching. Hit the like. And let's get this show on the road. Come on. Once you've hit the like, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Be another 1k viewing. We need the likes to go with it. So yeah, Ted Coningsby Channel live here at RAF Waddington for Exercise Cobra Warrior. There you go, I did it right first time. Lady Shen's Teddy Bears, what we do need to get is a thousand likes for this stream. Come on. The reason why we say that is the more likes a stream or video gets, then YouTube will recommend the stream out to everyone. And of course, Google will do the same as well because Google own YouTube. Come on. Ted's not happy about something. Ted, sort it out, mate. Squadron leader Ted Connors be ordering everyone now to hit the like. Come on. If you're watching on a TV, use the cursor or grab your device. Come on. Hit the like. Let's do it.
as the Royal Air Force's uh, RC 135 River Joint. Based here at RF Waddington. Departure clearance.
F18's coming as well, is it? So I can just, uh, at least I have to deal with something. The F18's coming out as well. Hopefully they taxi right here. Are they taxi in here? This would be good. Oh, F18s!
look at this. Oh yeah, come on. Send it, come on. It's our CF-18 Hornets, Royal Canadian Air Force. Here we go. Amazing. Well, wasn't that just awesome to watch? Just something completely different. Well, that certainly uh, quietened down the uh, <laughs> the road noise. Leader Ted Coningsby ordering everyone to hit the like after that. That was magic. Did you enjoy that? Hope you all enjoyed those uh, departures. So we've had uh, the E3, we had the rivet joint, and for CF18 Hornets, and those Hornets are of the Royal Canadian Air Force. And this is part of Exercise Cobra Warrior. We're live here at RAF Waddington. Ah, oh, yeah, ladies, shins, and teddy bears. If you can support the channel by hitting the like, and if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And those are orders. I'm not telling you. <laughs> that orders from our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. We're not far from Coningsby, it's just behind us, really. Ted's enjoying it. Hope you're all good. Hope you've enjoyed that. in the UK Brian thanks Ted that brings a uh, bit of home for me 
remember hearing them in the skies after 9-11. Actually, it is, uh, it is actually 9-11 today. Wow. White Wizard, good morning to you. Like button smashed. Only 700 and that's half. Half of you haven't hit the like button. Come on, hit the like button and support the channel. Jess White, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that, F-18s of the... Uh, so we've seen F-18s last uh, in March just gone by uh, with the uh, Finnish Air Force. Coding Speak Channel live here at RF Waddington bringing you some uh, some different aircraft which is always nice so a little bit about the week so um, tomorrow is so you'll notice there's a schedule for Lake Eneath on Wednesday but nothing for tomorrow so tomorrow's plan is going to is we're still going ahead with Coningsby but unfortunately due to the weather I think we're only going to do half a day so we'll do the morning stream okay so just so that you're aware um, it's supposed to be pouring it down sort of about lunchtime so that's the problem that we've got uh, so it's we we'll still go ahead with it but it'll be half a stream unfortunately um, it seems to be emotional throughout the whole country around about midday or depending on whereabouts you are uh, the more north the more you're going to the more you're going to get it uh, quicker and sooner so uh, it is unfortunate Wednesday all good uh, Lake District on Thursday again uh, depending on signal and weather for the Lake Districts for both when, uh, Thursday and Friday uh, so uh, unfortunately we are a little bit in the emotional weather times now I know we've had our heat now it's time to get rusty with all the rain squadron leader Ted Condingsby excited as usual amazing it's always nice to see a mixture of aircraft how are we doing ladies sheds teddy bears i hope you're well hope you're all good you right there now got to hit that like button there now make sure you hit that like button Arr! my name's reggie part of the raf regiment this is like my kind of thing in these bushes it's where i'm gonna hide make sure catch people out the raf regiment i don't do any of that flying business there now no 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 I like to keep my feet on the ground with Paradua. We're not Ad Astra, we're just Paradua because, you know, one of boys and girls and bears are up there, but well, they need the ground protecting. That's where the Rough Regiment come into it. So you can join the Royal Air Force and become like me, a Reggie. That's right. Shirt undone with a big mush. Is that you? Actually, it's just a bit warm. I'm camouflaging. But don't tell anyone there now. Let me just do this up there now. I don't think it looks very professional there now. That's better there now. I was adding me camouflage in there. That's why my shirt was still undone there now. I don't want to smear it on me mush. No trouble. The RAF regiment, we sniff it. We sniff trouble, fight trouble. We're trouble there now. That's how we do it round here. gonna just chill out in this bush there now I like chilling in the bush I hide out like this look look mean and hard look there now is that how he does it there that's uh Raf Reg Ted giving us a spill on the Raf Regiment it's true what he says you know the air is secure but the aircraft need a ground to land on safely that's where the Raf Regiment come into it 
Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, you doing all right? Are you the guy from Coningsby? Uh, am I the guy from Coningsby? Yeah, because I was mainly on bus cars. Oh, the bear, yeah. This is the. Uh, that's one of the characters. Oh, yeah, that's it, it's me. Yeah, you okay? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Nice to see different aircraft. Very nice. Uh, where have you come from? France. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. You're here for how long? Oh, you're here for a few weeks or a week? For a week, yeah. I'm there tomorrow. Um, yes, but it's bad by the time. From lunchtime, 12, 1 o'clock, really bad weather. Okay. So just to let you know, it's it's not looking good for weather, but there will be activity. Not much, but there will be. Yeah. Yeah, no, it should be okay tomorrow. It's, like I said, for, for, for us, you know, the weather's just going to be terrible tomorrow. It's not going to be good tomorrow. That's all right then, weather's fine. Yeah, just for this, for me, your problem, you know, I've got to cover everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide, make sure everything's covered, so. Yeah, it's okay though, it's part of the job. I'm used to it like, like you, you know, you're used to the weather. It just makes it more challenging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely, yeah. All oh, right, excellent. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Go on there, Colin, chilling out. Chilling out. <laughs> How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? I hope we're all good. Hey, well, where's Red? I think Red Ted's somewhere around. Red Ted, how are you doing? This is your home, isn't it? This is uh, Red Ted's home, this is where Red Ted's from. Be careful of Reggie, he's in those bushes Red Ted, you've got to be careful mate. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Me, behave. Margo, thank you for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Paul M. Hennings, thank you for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Oh, yeah. He's coming round there. Okay, Margo, thank you very much. Guards march for Margo. Thanks, Marco, very much for that. Thank you for gifting Ted Connie's big memberships. Guards March for you. And uh, Paul M. Hennings, thank you very much. Paul M. Hennings, thank you for the gifting five Ted Connie's big memberships. Guards March for you as well. Oh, yeah. So the Ted Connie's channel, thanking 
Paul, M. Hennings and Margot just then for the five Ted Coningsby memberships. So yes, from Thursday, the Ted Coningsby channel are on tour pretty much, heading for the Lake District. A little bit of a touch, touching base on the next week, Monday, Tuesday, uh, heading off then Tuesday to RAF Valley, and then we're at Mac Loop. And then once we've done Mac Loop for that week, we'll just uh, head back for the Monday. Um, where are we then, Ted? And then we've got um, oh, we've got a week back at back at base, and then we're heading to Lossy Mouth the week after that. It's a lovely day here at RAF Waddington. How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. Let me just get that down there now. <laughs> How are we doing? Hope we're all good. Oh, wrong way. Ted Coningsby channel. I'll just sort this out a little bit. Uh, by the way, thank you uh, very much for the takeaway. Lots of people have been treating me with takeaways. The takeaway fund. Thanks very much for that. Absolutely brilliant. And I did have, and I got uh, Ted, some, um, Ted some salmon with that, so it was all good. Yep, yeah, really good. Thank you, everyone. I mean, we've had, what, one and a half thousand viewers? That was brilliant. Really good. Really nice to see different aircraft, you know, in when it's not an air show or anything like that. I mean, of course, you're going to expect uh, places like Riyadh to get all sorts of aircraft, but really nice to get different aircraft when when they're not on a, a, an air show. It's, it makes it a little bit special. Um, it is a shame there's only the, uh, the Hornets here. Um, for the uh, for Cobra Warrior, it's a shame there isn't any other any other. So you got the Spangdalem F-16s, and they're at Mildenhall, and then you got the Norwegian F-35s at uh, RAF uh, Lake and Eve. So yeah, it's a shame they're not like all here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty cool. But you know, we can still get. Um, well, I'm not sure if the Red Arrows are coming out today because they're normally parked up. Well, they're not actually here. Oh, they're not here. No, okay, they're, they're not. They may come back. They may come back. Yeah, I did notice they're not parked up, so, um, oh well, but they may come back. I don't know where they were at the weekend. Uh, air, air, in air, air hilaire, in Scotland. I know, um, I know, uh, so I guess they're at Presswick, so we could be getting them back, which is quite nice, because their, their approach is fantastic. They usually do the, you know, the, what, <laughs> I don't know what that's called. They go up all together and come down like a, I don't know what that's called, you know what I mean. I should know it, being a military aviation. Yeah, it goes up like that and then that one, that manoeuvre. Yes. I bet you're probably putting it on there. Now, what is it, the spaghetti? No, fountain? I don't know, it looks good. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to look at the uh, chats now and it's probably like a million of you just... Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you know the one. He will go up and come down. God, that is such a technical term. I'm really good at this. Let's have a look. Um, Not a bad morning really, we've had one rivet joint arrive and then a departure, we've had an E3 departure and we've had four Hornets of the Royal Canadian Air Force as well depart, beautiful. And of course if you'd like to know where we are every Sunday we do update our noted. however do bear in mind they can change last minute due to operational reasons and weather as well so do bear that in mind. Uh, someone's asking about RAF Valley, it's on the 20th. Uh, we're doing Mac Loop then on the Thursday and the Friday, so Wednesday for RAF Valley. Uh, so Monday and the Tuesday we are looking at the usual home bases. Potentially uh, be Monday will be Lake and Eve and Tuesday will be Coningsby, but again they might be on night so I do need to look out for that. They, I think Coningsby are on nights that week so this could be good because it could force us to do a little change. Um, if we are heading for Valley, then we won't be going to Coningsby for a late night like that. So, again, like I said, just depends. We do update it every week. Uh, 
Now I've just noticed that my noteds haven't been updated. Interesting. YouTube channel and not on my website that'll be why so apologies they have updated on on YouTube but not on my website so uh, Ted and I will be doing some tech work after here later on tonight and we'll just update them on our website so currently if you go on our YouTube uh, click our channel of course and then click community you'll be able to see our no Ted's there so they'll be out for a good couple of hours they do a lot of air to air refueling so it extends their range so it could be a while, but you never know, might get the red arrows. Let's have a look, see where they are at the moment. <laughs> it certainly is something. Right, he's near uh, Sheffield. Alan Bowling, yeah, that's right, Bright, he's back. I uh, hope you enjoyed Ted's uh, charity video, with Ted's charity flight. But yeah, if, if the reds are going out, they're usually parked out on the main uh, and they're not, they're all beautifully lined up. Unless they bring them out, but I doubt they'll be going out today then. From what I can see, it looks bare. Cool, my uncle works at RF Coningsby. Awesome, aha see the Beechcraft. Is that the beach the shadow? Yeah, I can see the shadow. No. Got the sweeper coming out as well now, so... Yeah, the sweep, that looks like a sweeper. Sweep the runway, the yellow uh, truck. Sorry, what happened? Someone was on the uh, red and white. Okay, the other side, yeah. Just wondering what it's like going, you know, 
302 at the way down. <laughs> That'll be good. No, it's not going to work with me. Drop me off 50 kilos later. <laughs> How we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Ted Coningsby Channel live here at RAF Waddington for Exercise Cobra Warrior. That was nice. See, you can tell now the uh, the road just starts to get a little bit quieter and quieter. So should be all good. We just got to hope there's no lorry in front of us on the arrivals, which I've been itching to get a. Uh, members only video of fails here which are quite fun because you can hear me getting emotional so I think I put a compilation of me getting upset with lorries <laughs> I think that would be a good video maybe I should put the platoon music you know Adagio for strings by DJ Tiesto you know the one oh, that would be quite good Rebecca, how you doing? Good morning, girl. White Wizard, oi oi! How we doing, Steve Norris? Wayne, how's it going as well? So, yep, yeah, keep it sweet and near. Oi oi, Percival Sounds and Imagery, how you doing? Hope you're all good. So, yep, yeah, Brighty should be... Uh, he's just above Newark right now, so um, he'll be home soon. Some of you saying the reds are here, some of you are not. Well, I can tell you they won't be flying out anytime soon because they're not parked out on the main. So, uh, no worries. How are we all doing? Hope we're all feeling good. Hope we're well. So yeah, apologies for the noteds not being on the website, but they are updated on our YouTube channel. So the rivet joint that we seen today um, it is based in, it flies with 51 squadron and 54 squadron. That's what we've seen today, that's actually based here. Um, I'd say the one that we've seen was 51 squadron, uh, due to the tail marking, I guess. Um, and uh, Swift and Sure is their motto. And it's, uh, they're part of the... Uh, at the hub of the RAF's intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance fleet. So, I-Star fleet. They formed in 1916 at Thetford and in 1948 took part in the uh, Berlin airlift. 1974, it was the only RAF squadron to receive the Nimrod R1. 2011, took part in Operation Elemy. And 2013 is when they received the RC-135W rivet joint. So from the 1960s, uh, they developed as a, a specialist in collecting electronic intelligence. Former aircraft include Whitley, Lincoln, Canberra, Comet and Nimrod R1. They are a key support to coalition effects on Op Shader. Swift and sure. Chris, yeah, I'd go with 51. I mean, they had the same crest on the tail. I'm sure it's 51 anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Let's go with it. It's your final answer. 
We'd be alright on a phone a friend if we're on that game show and it was about aircraft. I think we'd be alright. <laughs> yeah. Edward Thompson, how you doing? Oi, oi. Hope you're good. Well, the fact that Red Ted's here, I'd say the Red Arrows are here, because we've just seen Red Ted, so I can't imagine them. Look at this guy here, look at Reggie, look. He's having a good time. Oi, oi. You're right there now. He's having a good time, he loves it in there. He just loves it. You're not far from a Reggie. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we see the shadow depart as well. Unfortunately, kind of like the best spot is uh, does it is by main road, so we just have to be mindful of that. Again, if you are coming here, please be mindful of the road when you're crossing. It can be exciting times, but just be careful. I always like to say that. And again, we've said this before at, at, um, at Coningsby. Please don't stand at the red and white fence. There was an incident just earlier which delayed the uh, departure of the rivet joint, which. The uh, police dispatch just now to tell people to move away. Some nice lorries there, look, Ted. Oh no, he's in there, isn't he, Ted? Look at him, what's he doing in there? Look at him, he's like proper. Reggie, you're right there now. Like he's a... Oh dear. It's me mush there now. I'm taking cover. I'm not. I'm not asleep. Honestly, I'm just uh, taking cover there now. Making sure it's all good there now. That's how I do it, Rap Regiment, out in the wild and the sticks. That's how we do it there now. Going in here, I'm gonna hide in this bit here now. And no one will see me here now. Look, chilling in me mush. Gotta watch out for trouble there now. Make sure it's all sweet and neat. But yeah, it was absolutely wonderful to see Hornets today. 
Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Valkyries. See what they're doing with Ted's flight. John Glynn. John Glynn Probert. 54 Squadron. Thank, oh, thanks for the info, by the way. Thanks, uh, John. So I'm just going to message the uh, Valkyries. He's trying to arrange. Range uh, Ted's flight. I'll give him a little nudge. I know it can take time to arrange these sort of things, but uh, let's have a little look. No, I think it's the um, the sweeper. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I, that's what I thought was an aircraft, but it's actually the the, the sweeper. I'll fall in. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't want to get in trouble for it, that's all. <laughs> that was actually stuck. <laughs> I actually got a bit stuck, now I've got my bungee stuck. <laughs> oh no. God. Ah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right. Sorry. I just just um I didn't I didn't break anything, it's just wedged it. There we go. We're a bit clearer now. No, I just um, I just bent it in. I didn't break it. some sort of wildlife on him.
Zaid's finally arrived. Oh uh, yeah, do be do be careful of the road. If you hear horns, that's uh, yeah. Guess what that's all about. Just just honestly be careful. It's such a busy road and. I hate to say it, some of them don't look like they're going 30, I'm going to be honest with you. There's no way, no, no disrespect to anyone, but I'm, I'm not an expert at, you know, judging speed, but some of it is clearly not 30 miles an hour, so just please, please be careful. You get some, you know, the majority are nice drivers, they do let people with heavy equipment and ladders do cross the road as well. Uh, it's nice that they put the temporary speed limits here, though. So yes, Ted Coningsby Channel's uh, first ever party coming up, 26th of November. Ah, oh, yeah, all sadly uh, fully booked. Although I have had news of one ticket available due to a, uh, a cancellation. I'll see what I can do with that. Which is a bit of a shame. I'd like everyone to come, but... I hope we're all good. Lady Shenton Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby Channel, live here at RF Waddington. And it's been a good morning. We got to see what we wanted to see, the Hornets. That's what we came here to see. Anything else was an extra bonus. We got the E3, we got the uh, rivet joint. Happy days. We even got a rivet joint coming into land first thing in the morning. Question is, have we got a thousand likes? 871. Free like showing, that's cool. Yeah, I probably just needed to. Nine, you've got 909. That's cool, it's going up. I think everyone's just clicking the like button as they join in. Ted Coningsby Channel Live here at Cobra Warrior. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's been an adventure and a half, this has the uh, Ted Coningsby Channel with everything that's been happening and all the fun adventures. It is quite deceiving. It's actually the uh, the sweeper, the fog sweeper. So how are we all doing? How are we all feeling on a on a Monday? Good start to the week for Waddington. It's all good. Rebecca, thank you very much. Here's to everyone who needs a, a mental boost. Here's to everyone who needs a mental boost today. Enjoy the live stream and know this community has your back. Whatever you're going through. Thank you, Rebecca, thank you very much. Very, very kind of you for that. Thank you so much. Guards March, coming up for you. So yeah, the Ted Coningsby channel are roughing it today. Not on the van, on a ladder. It feels a bit like uh, when we're at Bryce Norton. Rebecca, guard to march for you, thank you very much. Thanks Rebecca, thank you very much. Uh, 
That reminds me, better get a, a Swiss flag for uh, RAF Leeming. That'll be good. Rob Kennard, very good morning to you. Gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Guards March coming up for you, thank you very much. Rob Kennard, thank you for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. A very good morning to you. This is the fun, the serious military aviation channel. And what an adventure we're on. We're heading for 29,000 subscribers this week. Can we get it? Are we going to get it, Ted? It's a, it's a close one. Thanks a lot, Rob. Hit the like. Regiment here and all. Make sure everything's sweet and neat round here. Don't want any mischief round here. Yeah, hello! Reggie, I need your help. You're right, Darnell. We need Darnell. Darnell. You okay, Darnell? Yes. I need your help. I've lost my hat. Lost my chip back. So I'll have to go and have a look for it then. Yes. Where, where was the last time you've seen it, Darnell? Well, oh, I was on, a, was on a boat. Sailing away. Across the river bay. I'll we'll have to have a look there now. Oh, I don't know if it'll be round there now for a Boddington. Yes, but I thought you might have it. But I found it by now, all your skills. I'll have to have a little look around there now. Yes, can't seem to find it anywhere. But that's the last time I had it, it was on a boat. Yes. Sailing away having afternoon tea. Yes, with my wife, Mrs. Wingy. I'm going to go and have a look around there now, check over the hedges, beyond, beyond the trees there now. Yeah. Yeah, hello to you anyway. You all good? I'm all right there now. I'm going to go and try and find your hat there, Red Wingy. I'm going to go and have a look there now. Yes, can't please, that'd be wonderful. Thank you very much there, yes. I'm a bit stuck, need a push. Old chap. What's he calling here, old chap? There now. He's a funny old guy, that wingy. Always gone about that. He used to be a wing commander, bless him, there now. He loves his books. Well, I'm going to go and hide in here and go and have a look for uh, Wingy's hat there now. Wingy losing his hat. Actually, the last time we've seen it was at Bournemouth, so I'm not sure where it is. says uh, Jacques Pagnou. How you doing? Bonjour. Come on, can we get 29k? Wow. Uh, the Super Chats and Gifted Memberships has just been scrambled. Wow. Thank you very much, everyone. For 
Ted's continued perseverance and endurance bringing us live streams and videos. Margot, thank you so much. And, I, and then I've got a triple guards march to do, I think, by the look of it as well, for Rob Kennard. Uh, Marco, thank you so much. Guards march for Margo for that amazing, amazing. Amazing super chat. Margo, thank you for all your support. Thank you so much. Ted's gonna do his best here now. Oh, oh no, Ted. Oh gosh. Hang on, Ted. Just carry on, lad. for Margo. Yeah. Rob Kennard, thank you very much. We've got a 20, a 10 and a 5 Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you very much for gifting those. The love on this channel is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much, Rob Kennard. Got a 20, a 10 and a 5. Thank you very much, Rob Kennard. Bear coming this way. I don't know who it is. It looks is that navy. We might have a Royal Navy bear. I'm not sure. Or a sailor or some sort. Looks like a navy bear. We've got a special guest coming our way. I think. Hello. Who we got here? Shed to teddy bears. It's quite a, uh, one sec. Do you mind just hanging on to it for one second? Yep. I might have to do it off, off here. Hang on. 
I'll take it down. Yeah, to pay homage to Ted Connings. Oh, is that right? Okay, actually. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will have him down here and then, yeah, I'll sort him out. Right, and if I can have Sam. He might even be a distant relative of Ted's, I'm, I'm not sure. sure. They all related somewhere along the oh, line. Oh, yes. We got Reggie in the background though as well, though, just, just chilling. So we have Sam Sailor from Portsmouth. Sam, how you doing? Woohoo! He's here for Cobra Warrior. He's, and you've come all the way from Portsmouth. Wow. So, how are you then, Sam? You good? It's one of your friends over there, part of the regiment, look, over there. Look, he's just... I think he's actually taking a nap. We've actually caught Reggie taking a nap. So, uh, tr trust the Royal Navy to spot that, eh? <laughs> All is good. Well, um, well, thank you very much, and I hope you're going to enjoy the show today, Sam. Sam Sader from uh, Portsmouth. So he's having a look around. He's trying, I think he, he's sensing where the sea is from here. But yeah, we're quite. It's not far. So yep, he's all good. So yeah, he's quite intrigued what Reggie's doing. Well, thank you very much for coming all this way to see us. And of course, do enjoy our air Waddington, Sam. You have a good time, yeah. You have a good. Ahoy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thanks for. Um, Thank you very much for coming to see us. But, oh, thank you. No, no, honestly, appreciate that. Thank you. Just one sec. Let me just uh, fix it something. I can come and say hello. hello I do like to meet everyone. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, no, thanks.
Yeah, careful crossing that road, please. <laughs> How are we doing ladies, gents and teddy bears? I hope we're all good. I just uh, always like to meet fans and you know, we all, I, I've always said this, it's always, it's part of the channel to meet you guys and girls and teddy bears. It's really important to meet you all. Because it is, like I said, it's, it's one, it's, the channel is not just about a camera and, and the footage. It's about meeting you and developing it and hearing from you. seen Zade yet but I think I have I think I've seen him I think I've seen him across the road as I was talking to uh, Paul and Kat. Sure I've just seen Zade. Oh lots of you um oh lots of you putting uh, getting poppies I love that that's so nice but it is true you know, I know I don't go into it too much because it can branch out into a different subject matter, but we do try and keep... I'll tell you what, I need to be on this, really. Well, we can, because I, I, it is really important that I mention this. Right, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, as you know... So, yeah, as you know... The Ted Coningsby channel are very passionate about the past as well, about our history, and it's really, really important. Oi, oi. It's really important that that we that we teach it and keep it alive because unfortunately the these airfields are gonna get forgotten. It is it is it is inevitable. Face it. Every it bugs me, I know, and I hate to be the one that rants, but listen, at the end of the day, this is fact. There's if there's a bit of land, they'll build on it. If, if there's an, a disused airfield, they'll build on it. It's as simple as that. It's not political or anything like that. It's just the way it is. And my worry is that more and more airfields are just turning into rubble and built on, okay? And then all that's left is a memorial, which someone is just gonna drive past and that's the end of it. However, the Ted Coningsby channel are so passionate about the past and our history and what especially we have flying tributes, yes, such as the BBMF Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. These are tributes, Bomber Command, lost 44 percent that might, might that might not mean much but when i tell you it's over 55,000 55,000 men gone average age what 22 gone and, and we're here now i'm here and i respect that I respect that and I, I will never forget these men, these brave, brave men. And that doesn't even include 8,000 of, um, of people that, that were prisoner of war as well. That's just the BBMF. Then you've got the US Army Air Force as well, our, um, allies that were here with us as well when we cover all these bases. Um, we've got Sally B, another flying tribute as well. But what I'm saying is that we cannot forget we are here now. This is going to be the past at some point. Everything that happens today, you know, as much as we enjoy it here, back in World War II, take King's Cliff, for example, that was just as active as here, for example. And, you know, and it, and it really bugs my mind to think that one day this could be a lost airfield in about, I don't know, a thousand years time, someone doing the Ted Coningsby channel in a thousand years time going, yeah, you know, this was here and, you know, and it's now whatever buildings they're going to have then. It's, it's just, we cannot forget. And the Ted Coningsby channel are working on something, right? You've all heard of Lest We Forget. We've all heard of that and that, and the Ted Coningsby channel have another motto to go with that. I want these men up there, right? So the, le the less we forget is for us, that we cannot forget. But I want those heroes up there to have their own motto. And that motto is coming from the TCS. And that is, they never forgot us. That is deep. I want them to go and think that, imagine that you were that soul up there and you did, you know, you, you made that ultimate sacrifice. And then people forgot you, that's, that's terrible. It really, really makes me a little bit ill thinking about it. But I want a motto from the Ted Coningsby channel for them up there. 
to say they never forgot us. And that is how we, that is the attitude and, and, and that is the thinking behind lost airfields. I am one of many that do, that, that probably do, you know, go around and respect because when I go to memorials, there's always wreaths put there and, and cards and letters and tributes to those, those fallen. And I think I, 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 I'm gonna do it in a, you know, our channel does focus on the present, what's going on in air shows, but I need to make sure that we branch out and respect the past and bring it to life. We've got a lot of younger viewers and because we've got, you know, it is a family channel. I've got all the little bears doing their little thing. And I think that is gonna be a real key route to inspire our young to remember and focus on the history because it's really important. They need to know how it got to where it is today. They need to know that the land that they're on, you know, every day we go to the beach, that someone's day at the beach was their last so that we can have our first second and third and so on so it's quite deep i know it's a, a deep subject but i think this is the route and i want i want a ted Connings be motto for for our heroes up there that they never forgot us and on our two right they'll we we haven't forgotten there's no way we're too it was too much of a, a passionate and loving channel um to even think about losing that respect so yeah a little bit deep and i'm also worried that you know some of the educational parts of it are, are lost so do you know what we're an educational channel we will do it we will take that role we will bring it to life don't you worry it does take time it does take a lot of planning and you know a lot of people have said wow these these, these are airfields that they didn't even know about carpet operation carpet bagger amazing absolutely you know live is live <laughs> you know how we say but yeah thank you for that and thank you for listening to that because i just think it is important you know to, to do the um to do that you know and and there are a lot of young generation that do understand the bbmf there are a lot and that's that's you know it is wonderful i hope i haven't gone too far too deep but i just want you to understand what the ted Connorsby channel are all about past and present as well so um just wondering what this thing is oh look at this oh, that'll chop a tree in half <laughs> anyway getting excited about chainsaws <laughs> anyway well that sounds really bad um anyway <laughs> moving on um yeah that that's basically where the tcs are going you know to to you know cover the lost airfields but go deep go deep come on Uh, Joao, how are you doing? Watching from Portugal, my man. Hope you're good. Gaza has a going. Eric, White Wizard. Steve Morris, fantastic. Well said, Nikos. Oh, thanks a lot, White Wizard. Thank you for that. Steve Wyatt, thank you very much. They never forgot us. That is going to be a TCS motto that I'm going to try and push. Um, it, it's it's for it's for the blue skies. It's for them up there. It's it's for them. They never forgot us, and it's something I believe. I, I, you know, it, it's I want it to go hand in hand with Lest We Forget because the they never forgot us is something that we are going to do. As in you, me, everyone watching, we're we're going to make sure that we do respect it. Brilliant. Thanks for your support. I'm just reading all your lovely comments about that. We'll always honour the Merrick. Always. Oh, Steve Morris. I love. Uh, thanks a lot for all your support. Here. I, I'm seeing poppies everywhere. Um, yeah, I, I did did mention the date today actually. It, it's, um, yeah, I did mention that. So um, of course. Wow, 
22 years today. Wow. K lights, oh yeah. Thank you all so much. Hope we're all good. Yeah, I'm no idea about the, um, not too sure about the red arrows. I believe some people saying they're back, some people saying they're not back. <laughs> Don't know. It just seems odd that there's none out there. There's always one or two parked up yeah man 1k lights oh yeah everyone getting Ted's and poppies Thanks everyone for the support, that is wonderful, thank you. Diversion. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, so we. So we got. <laughs> yeah. So Cranwell 38 call sign of um, Cranwell RF Cranwell, and it's an Embraer Venom T1. Here it comes. Enjoy. Nice to have a little bit of a break. Thanks a lot, Cranwell, for getting on the TCS. <laughs> What lorry are we going to get now? Get lorried. 
The lorries were nice to it. They were kind to the uh, <laughs> the Embraer Phenom. Carrying out a practice diversion from uh, RAF Caramel. Oh yeah. There was actually a no tam today to say no uh, no practice diversions due to the exercise, but uh, you know they know Ted's here, so they uh, they allowed it. I think. Thank you to whoever it was. Yeah. Um, it was the scanner just to my right, my, over there. I heard something like check gear acknowledge. I'm like, oh. Might do a couple of circuits, so let's have a look. I heard that on that jet, that guy's scanner. <laughs> Thanks for that. I heard it on your scanner, I was like, oh, something's coming in. I think it's coming around again. I think he's off to Coddington right now. Oh, is he? Because I did say I was going to Grandma as well to do Grandma. That's a lovely day out. I know it's not fighting day, but it's a nice little thing. Yeah, Oh, it's, it's busy though. Yeah. Always. Always up. Like, there's never a minute break. There's just prefects and embryos just going up and down. This RAF station, Grandma. The movement. I mean, yeah, it's not fighter jets, but it's, it's a good place to practice, actually, because you're always going to get some stuff like that. Wow. Well, just on the green, you know, the green right in the corner. Yeah, because the main road is just that. that. My God, you've only got that much between you and the road, and they are proper steaming it down that road. Is it? Is it? Where do you think?
Emirates. Yeah, I can just about see the red. No, I'm all right, thanks, buddy. Thank you. So there are currently four Hornets airborne, which departed around about 10 o'clock. And we've had the uh, rivet joint as well, and the E3 Sentry as well. All is good. Meth, how's it going? Hope you're good. Steve White, good morning to you. How you doing? Uh, enjoy. If we gifted Ted Connors be memberships, enjoy. photo from Argen there about Tingly Ted's sauce. That is brilliant. Michael L. Thanks for joining the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Four months service.
all good, Ted Connors be channel live here at RF Waddington. Hope you're all good, how are we all doing? So that's the AWC, the Airfield Wildlife Control Unit that you can see there. So they keep the airfield sweet and neat of any uh, wildlife. there they do carry out air to air refueling as well you never know they might come in as a four ship You're right there now, up in hiding. Make sure, keep it undercover. Make sure it's all sweet and neat, catching people out. Sometimes if I need reinforcements, I need to like, do forward, back, back, kick, which makes two of us there now. Ewe, you're right there now. Ewe, you're right there now. How's it going there now? I'm okay there now. You okay there now? I'm right there now. Arr, 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 arr. It's all good there now. We work together, we're the same. But we act as two with a power of two Reggies. Or RAF Regiment, he's Reggie, I'm Reggie. You're Reggie. I'm Reggie. You're Reggie. I'm Reggie. Ewee. Ewee. 
lasts only for a few minutes there now. The power of two Reggies were unstoppable. Confuse the enemy even more. One minute with here, next minute with there. What's going on over there there now? What's going over there there now? I think it's a shadow. I think it's a shadow. Shadow departure as well, ladies, shins and teddy bears. Andy Williams, how you doing? Hope you're good. Nick Ward, thank you very much. Happy Monday, everyone. Hoping to get to Lake and Eve on Wednesday to deliver Ted Foon and Blackjack. Thanks very much for that, man. Get you a guards march. Nick, thank you very much for that. Guards march from our squad of leader, Ted Coningsby, and I'm loving the Ted Foon. Ted loves his Ted food now. Thanks Nick for uh, making that wonderful Ted food scale model and blackjack as well. Thank you. Can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Oh yeah. That's yeah, all good. Potentially a shadow. Yep. Shadows are uh, running. So you look at the Shadow R1. Uh, 14, uh, they fly with 14 and 54 squadron. So the, um, when we said about 54 Squadron, they are the operational conversion unit at RAF Waddington for the I-Star. So that's I-Star operational conversion unit. So the 54 Squadron will have the rivet join and the Shadow R1 that you can see here under its, uh, under its operational conversion. Science for this can be quite fun, so just widget. <laughs> Don't forget 
please hit the subscribe button. Let's try and get to 29k this week if we can. Such exciting times, absolutely amazing. Sorry about that, Andy. Just seen your. Uh, just seen your. Um, but the best. <laughs> Andy Williams, member for nine months. Not sorry for repeating myself, but the best channel on YouTube. Ah, oh, yeah. Guards March for you coming up, Andy Williams. Thanks, Andy. Nine months, thank you so much. a nice little exit there, departure from Ted. Teddage. Time to get the teddies out. Come on. Let's get Ted's out. Get the Ted emojis. I'm always smashing out the walker when I do the Ted's. is based here like I said with 14 squadron and if it's the operational conversion unit with 54 squadron
What's happened there now? What happened there? It's pulled up. It's just, sorry, somebody yeah. Yeah. Some, some car dying. decided to just stop. And, uh, yeah, so it's windy down, that's been something side of the road. Really?
the delay is.
How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy Bears, Ted Connick's big channel, live at RF Waddington. Hope you're all good. Don't forget, hit that all important like button and do hit the subscribe button as well. And uh, of course, if you are already subscribed, then don't forget to hit that all important. No Doing Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bears, I'll just catch up with you on the chats while I break for lunch. Oh, yeah. Sheridan, thank you for the merch, Nikos, Claire, and Ted. Awesome. Sheridan, thank you very much. And if you're feeling uh, Ted Coningsby retail therapy is for you, then uh, go, go hit us on uh, tedconningsby.co.uk and do check out the shop there. And uh, Sheridan, thank you. I hope you enjoyed all your goodies. It was a pretty big order. Guards march for Sheridan. Thank you for the super chat. And of course, thank you for your custom as well. Thank you very much. How are we all doing? Hope we're feeling well. Hope we're good. Oi, oi, Yossa Leister, how you doing? Watching from Netherlands. Hope you're good. What else we got on? Let's just scroll back as far as it will go. Take my tent away. De -de -de. Sheridan, oi oi. Christopher Clark, good morning to you. Christine Barnes, how you doing? Rebecca, how's it going? Sheridan, patches of quality, you're welcome. Anyone spotted the new merchandise that was put on yesterday? Check it out on the Ted Coningsby shop. Something limited. Sir, how you doing? Oi oi! Ted Salmon delivery. <laughs> mm, Tim Borland, how's it going? Graham McRobert, how's it all going as well? Marcus Welding, hi squadron leader Ted Coningsby. Hope you're all good. You're a superstar, Ted, right now. In need, in need of cheering. Yeah, this is the right place to come. If you want cheering up, this is the place to have it. This is the place to go. Oi, oi! Yes, the new patch. Have you seen it? Who's seen the new patch on limited, limited amounts only? And uh, we have capped it to just one per person. If you do order more than one, then we will have to refund you.
Over flights, then. Full sign of the Shadow R1. It's probably going to be doing a few circuits here today. It's, uh, it's on approach. Yeah, I can just see it now to our right. Keep us busy. Did this last time we were here, keeping us busy, bless it. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh gosh, what's this? A lorry? No! doing a few circuits here so potentially it could be with the operational conversion unit
Oops. City bears, I'm just going to have a quick bite to eat. I'll be right back.
what? Your bag? You've not got a bag. <laughs>
Good there, ladies, gents, teddy bears. How are we doing, Ted Connorsby Channel? Live here at Waddington. How's it all going? Hope you're all good.
doing. Can't be too long now for the. Uh... Let me just take this and get some luck in there. Can't be too long now for the arrivals back of the. Uh... Doing ladies, gents, and teddy bears, just uh, getting back after a nice little bit of lunch. Can't be too long now.
You good, yeah? How's it going? All right. Well, what's happened there? We've got three teddy bears. Three? That don't have names. Okay. Um, you. Um, what do you want me to do? Baptise them and give them a teddy teddy baptism? Yeah, let's bring them on. We, we, we carry out teddy bear baptisms here the Ted Coningsby channel. Um, they don't have names, so uh, let's start with this one. How you doing? You alright? Alright, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears, here we go. Starting off with uh, with this one, with Reggie there in the background. Reggie, you're right there now. Reggie, you good there, yeah? Let me just uh, move it. Get off me, don't I? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's just get ready. Uh... Oh, good shot. Right, so we start off with this uh, this character here, this bear. Um, do we have a name? We'll, we'll take the uh, take some names and you choose. How's that? We do a live teddy bear naming service here on the Ted Coningsby channel. What are you doing? Any, anything you want, bring out some names. First five, come on. Gary. First one. Let's, hang on, we'll, we'll have some names. Come on, uh, we've we got three teddy bears we need to name. Just Jane, that's pretty good, like that. Eleanor William Razor. Wardo. <laughs> come on, name the bear. Tom, are you on there live now, eh? Okay, that's our first one. Maybe maybe we can just bring him on and then you can pick at your own leisure. Is that all right? Do you want to do that or do you want to name him in this instant? Okay. Hannah after Ray Hannah. Little, little Red, Bert, Robin. Whoever chose Little Red, well done. This one. Oh, this one looks good. This one's brilliant. Oh, I love this one. Right, get ready for the next naming. Look at this. It's up to you, you can, whatever. Right, what are we going for this one? Names, please, go. Come on, name the bear. Come on, let's go. We, we're currently doing a live teddy bear baptism naming. No, a live teddy bear naming. We got Baby, Roger, Pop, Scotty, MC Teddy Tavish. Uh, well, I'm going with Tartan. Sir Waddington. Oh, Harold, Scotty, Sam, Lossie, Bryce. Bryce Ben, Lossie Bear. Bryce Bear, Stu Stewart. Tartan Ted. <laughs> Tartan Totty. Uh, these call sign Tartan. Big Clive. Lossie and Scotty. Roger. Mac. Come on, get him out. Lots of people going with Tartan. What are we going for? Tartan, that was my little well, I, I suggest that. We're going with Tartan? Happy with Tartan? Tartan Ted. So we got Little Red. Tartan. I think this one looks female. I think that's happy with Wado. Yeah, it's got Wado written all over this one. Oi, oi! It, it's, uh, this one looks like it's constantly scoring goals. Right, go for it. Starting with Angus. Uh, McTed. <laughs> Sir Tartan the Third. <laughs> Come on. Name the bear. Poseidon. <coughs> Eddie. The Beast. Wado. <laughs> Someone's put Nikos. <laughs> well, that's just you if you want a bear name. <laughs> Posh Ted. Butterscotch. Tartan. They've got another Tartan. Boggles, Wado. Is that a name, Lauren? L O L. Just quick. Berdino, Berdino. Bob is Bob. Winston. High five, Charlie. <laughs> what are we going for? Hornet. Ted Hornet. Vulcan. 
Oh, Vulcan's good. Vulcan. It's got a Vulcan look about it, hasn't it? Jack, that's a good one. They're, they're, I'm in an hour in between butterscotch and Vulcan. butterscotch and Vulcan. It's a choice of two. Harry <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's constantly up for it. It, it just looks like it's saying it wasn't me. Flat Ted. Um, Excited G, G Force. Got a new one out, Tonka. Sheringham, Teddy Shering. Oh, that's brilliant. Tomcat. Bernard. It's like basically, you like you caught them in the air. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh. Better be good at throw-ins, look. Oh, they're, they're really stuck on this one. Yeah. So we've got, what, what do we go for? Little Red. Little Red. Tartan. Tartan. Teddington. Georgie. Winko. I think loads of people are shouting at Buckstock. Vulcan. Okay, the winner is Muck Vulcan. Thank you very much. There you go. Uh, Ted Connings, channel. We do teddy bear naming services, so uh, just give us a call. I'll have to put that on, on the internet. <laughs> teddy bear naming service. There we go. All named. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thanks everyone for uh, so we got Tartan, Little Red, and McVulcan. Splendid. I do like McVulcan. It just looks like uh, the bear's always up for it. <laughs> so if you have teddy bears, uh, bring them here live. We can name them for you. <laughs> well done, everyone who supported that. Claim Tartan because that was me. That, that, I'll, I'll have that one. But then obviously, yep, yeah, Alex went with that one as well, so well done. No, it's always good for the fans to do it anyway, so well done, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 20 seconds. from the uh, Valkyries.
Okay, just uh, just emailing the uh, Valkyries just to get Ted through the Mac loop. <laughs> oh no! Don't undo the send, please send it. Mm, just gotta... Ted's on a right adventure. Ted's finally going in an F-35. <laughs> oh dear. Ted's on adventures. He's had, a, he's had loads of flights this year, like loads, like at least 10. He's gone for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, F thirty five A through the map fleet. Oh gosh. Oh wow. Oh, Two two Delta member for two months. Posh officers, thank you, Nikos, Ted, TCS crew for amazing streams and all the charity work that you all that you all do. Easy to see why TCS is number one. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Uh, we have we are on twenty eight point six thousand subscribers. Come on. Should be back soon, I would have thought. Something like that. Yeah, they're normally out for about three hours. A good three hours as well. Yeah, they've got to eat. You've got to come back to have some munch. Thank you, yeah, you're welcome, no worries, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, you too, thanks for bringing them up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much for coming to do that. 
Yeah, thank you. Take care now. See you later. Yeah, mind that road. No worries. Yep, you heard it, Ted is uh, just sorting it out now with the Valkyries at this moment. I've just got to sort things out and then I'll sort it out, keep you updated. Yep, so we're going to get Ted in an F-35A with the 495th Fighter Squadron. And it's literally going to be, take my Ted away. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Take my tent away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Collins asked, what's the difference between an F 35A? Oh, I don't know what the difference is between an A and a B. Between a B and a C. Oh, a B and a C? Yeah. The C's a carrier variant and it's larger. It's got an extra four foot of folding wings. And it has between the A and the C. Or the B and the C. Yeah, yeah. The C is the carrier, so it's uh, it's got the it's um it's got a special hook to get catapulted. It uses the catapult. There you go. And the it's got seven and a half G rated. The B only is seven. The A is nine plus. The A variant doesn't have all the extras, so it's like, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, so it's, the, it's larger than the others by eight foot. Yeah, it's wider, so it's four foot on each side. So that's pretty cool because it's got the folding wings. It's a beast. I'd love to see one. I'd love to see because they're, they're slightly different in, in dimensions as well, slightly uh, longer. And... That's it, all three. Yeah, I'd love to see one. everyone for all your uh, support there for today and uh, all your comments for Ted's flight in blackjack and uh, I will be uh, taking Ted to the 48th fighter wing at some point I'm just trying to arrange the date now and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes and hopefully there's going to be someone there to take photos of Ted through the map loop oi oi Excited, so yeah, everyone is a bit of a 
I think they're coming back because everyone's getting excited here. Yeah. Teddy bears hope we're all good. Let's have a little catch up. Thanks for all taking part in that uh, bear naming. F-18s just popped up on flight radar, south of Hornsey. Grimsby now, surely. to go and start hitting the likes ladies gents and teddy bears and let's get subscribing to the channel get hoping he uh, to get to 29,000 subscribers come on synchrotones thank you welcome to the tent conics we squadron guards march coming up for you Uh, yeah, Zay, they're, uh, I don't know what, five minutes, ten minutes out, five, ten minutes. We should be here. Reggie, watch the bush, loving the streams. Thank you so much. 
Karen Lewis, eight month service. By the way, Karen Lewis, thank you very much. Last March. Thank you very much. And of course, Synchrotone, thank you for joining the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. No. Not sure where that's gone. Welcome Synchro Tones, you're welcome, thank you very much. I think someone's mentioned about the Mac Cloak. Yeah, that's right, it's uh, named after the McKinleff. Uh, yep, yeah, named after the uh, Welsh town McKinleff. So, uh, hence Mac, it's got nothing to do with the, uh, as in, supersonic speeds or anything like that. I've had someone uh, query that before with, with one of the videos through the Mac Cloak. In, uh, oh, here they are. The fourth ship as well. Right, here we go. Four ship coming up. This looks good. Looks very good. We need a big truck. Can you get a big truck, please? <laughs> no! Look at this.
this is just, oh no. Yeah, this is the curse of the Waddington. Skim the lorry, go on, skim it. It's come on. There we go, beautiful. That was nice, nice uh, no approaches as well, just to keep us entertained as well. Thank you very much, Royal Canadian Air Force, for that. So the Airfield Wildlife Control Unit, they are contracted, I think, um, I think they use Phoenix. I think there's Phoenix at Coningsby, I don't know if they're Phoenix here or anything like that, but they are usually uh, contracted, yes, that is correct. No red arrows today then? So we just gotta hope there's an afternoon sortie. I can't remember what time that was, is it?
Okay. We're all good now. How are we doing ladies, gents and teddy bears? Ted Coningsby Channel live here at uh, RAF Waddington. And uh, we just had the uh, the first wave of Cobra Warrior. Yeah, it's nice to see the uh, the Hornets from the Royal Canadian Air Force. Ted, how's it going, mate? You good? Ted enjoyed the Hornets there. That was lovely to see them. And uh, beautiful that we've hit 1K already in line, so that's all good. Ted just basking out in the sun there and enjoying himself. Reds out. I don't know if they are here. Some people say they are, some people say they're not, so I'm not sure. I'm very not sure to be honest on that. Can't give you any details on the red arrows. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, Dan Proctor there now is watching Ted. Oh, bless him. The main man himself. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks a lot, Dan Proctor, for that. That's wicked. Just seeing that. I'm just a. Uh, oh, that's so cool. over this end, not close to the road. It can be very dangerous. Do be careful. And again, if you, um, this morning, it's uh, seven in the morning, local. I've got the uh, images of Ted and Brighty's uh, Righty and Ted's charity flight. Look at this. So yeah, there is a possibility of uh, part two, wave two. So we just have to wait patiently. It can be a few hours. Um, but you never know, might get 
something, you just never know. That's the nature of it here, ladies, gents and teddy bears, you just turn up and hope for the best. That's the nature of it, but we did get to see gorgeous CF-18 Hornets, oh yeah, from the Royal Canadian Air Force. Now, buddy. I'm done. Alright, I'm done. I'm going to see you. I'm not good tomorrow. I can't be free. Yeah, the weather's not good. I'm, I've, I've said I'm only doing half a day tomorrow. This, I think, I'm going to have to stop it until 6, 7 o'clock, so we're going to I'll, I'll see if there's any early morning send offs, you know. Yeah. Alright, that's I'll look at it for the trip to anyone, so we'll look.
I think uh, I think we've got more uh, TED flights coming up. I've just uh, just been sorting stuff out. Are we doing Lady Shanty Teddy Bears? Yeah, just uh, Ted's, Ted's, uh, Ted's quite busy at the moment. I'm just sorting him out more flights uh, as we speak. So, uh, Ted Bry, mate. I think you wanted. Got a, just hit 28.6k subscribers. Nice one, everyone. Thank you very much.
Hello, Ted Coningsby, Channel Live here at RAF Wellington for Exercise Cobra Warrior. It's got seems quite uh, quite a long time since this morning since I started the stream. Saying that the, I kept saying that uh, here for the event, Cobra Warrior, <laughs> which is not, ladies and gents, steady bears. It is a, uh, a NATO exercise. The it's an RAF run by the RAF, the biggest Royal Air Force exercise uh, held biannually, uh, March and September usually, and each sortie. Uh, as in each part, March and September, they do have different countries and aircraft participating in it. So March aircraft could be different to September's. Cliff Burrows, thank you for that. Cliff Burrows, they never forgot us. Thank you for using that. That's the TCS motto for those who made that ultimate sacrifice. Cliff Burrows, thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat. Burrows, hope you're well, man. Hi, Nicholas and Ted and uh, TCS. Sorry, not feeling too good today. It will only be a short visit. We've just been catching up on the stream. They never forgot us. Brilliant, excellent speech. Very emotional, inspiring. Thank you very much for that. Omar Yara, good day, friends. Hoping to see uh, good takeoffs. Thank you very much. Robert Brassel, how you doing as well? Hope you're good. Susan Tilsner, good day, everybody. Hope I didn't miss too much. Christopher Carr, how's it going? Is there anything on comms? Not really, um, because I don't have any. <laughs> I'm relying on hearing other people's. Um, but what I can see is the AWAX is, uh, looks like it's RTB in right now. Still away. Um, where is it at the moment? It's uh, just sort of in the Pennines at the moment, sort of parallel with Durham. It's not far from Darlington. F-15's close by. I thought we'd be able to see them from here. You never know. Never underestimate this lens, right? It's crazy, isn't it? Sorry, but I've kind of left it on some sort of foliage. Oh, foliage is a good one. I think that's an actual word, though, isn't it? Foliage. 
Here we go. A bit of foliage action. Linda Bourne, how's it going? Hope you're good. Hope you're all good. Catherine Burkett, how's it going? Oh yeah. Don't forget ladies, gents and teddy bears, you can be part of the Ted Coningsby squadron. Oh yeah. Hi guys, I'm Nikos from the Ted Coningsby crew. Oh yeah. We want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, as well as Lozimel, and military areas such as air weapon training, low flying areas, heritage systems, and special flight to Ted too. We could not do this without your support, and your support will be rewarded. So we have an exclusive membership so we can join the Ted Connery Squadron. We have one level of membership so that every one of you can enjoy it and that no one is left behind. We have exclusive perks for our members too to enjoy, such as members only videos, which include deleted scenes, music videos, behind the scenes footage, and members can take part in members only polls. There will also be discount for our members too on our merchandise. And you'll also get your own emojis and special member badges next to your name too. All you have to do is click the join button and all this for just £1.99 a month. Your membership Mickey, how you doing? Hope you're good. our channel to get us around the country. And for this, I just want to say... Oh, everyone's all good? Oh, everyone's, everyone's getting tense. Let's get the TED emojis out. Let's get them out.
Oi, oi, Mickey, how you doing? Emma, how you doing as well? <laughs> Get your Teds out. Get the Teds. It's all good. Radio Nigel, Sheridan, how you doing? Mickey, how's it all going? Airman. Look at Airman there. How you doing, Airman? Shenton teddy bears. Uh, if you are playing to bottom, please do it safely. Do not stand on the approach red and white fences, please, for your own safety as well. It can also delay aircraft taking off and can cause all sorts of issues. It will most certainly end your trip should an aircraft get it a little bit wrong, and especially it will damage your hearing as well. So please don't stand at the red and white fences under no circumstances. Thank you very much. And it's for your own safety. Sammy B, yeah, that was uh, that was a that was a good day. It's usually good with the TCS. Uh, uh, who <laughs> tell you what? Who uh, who remembers the last uh, quick climb Friday we did? Um, that was a, a great surprise. Just when we thought that was it. Just when we thought we were just going to get four F15s, and that would have been it. No, wrong. Ian Stewart, thank you very much. Yeah, we, um, you know, you know the TCS by now. We always uh, give out the older uh, house rules, you know, housekeeping rules. Just need to make sure, even just mentioning the road behind us, it, you know, just take care. I mean, we've all, you know, we all like get excited and we've just taken some really awesome photos and we're looking at our camera and we're crossing the road. Just, just take care on this road, please. And especially Coningsby as well, that road is still 60 miles an hour. So be careful when you go into the viewing area and crossing the road, or even if you're not in the viewing area, just, just be mindful because it's, you know, we like to spot near the fence, and but by the main road it can um, get a bit too iffy. I mean, especially when cars, we all do it. We're driving along and we have a little sneaky look in the base, you know, just takes that 
few centimeters to the left and uh, yeah it, it's very dangerous so just bear that in mind as well again the usual crash gates not that there are any just on this bit here where we are further to my left there are but i don't think they'll be very useful for viewing areas but if you do come across crash gates in the future please please do not park your car there in at, uh, no circumstances at all you will be visited um again approach lights things like that uh, in the fields of the approach be mindful because there are two issues with that you'd be potentially on farmer's land and the casing around it it's mod property as well just just general little things like that we just you know we like to protect our royal air force and uh, and you guys as well it's in our interest to make sure that we you know we do tell you the right things to do litter as well take it home and i suppose shall i mention the obvious just don't jump over the fence i don't know if uh, please don't do that uh, that could be uh well you most likely get arrested for that uh I mean, places like Cranwell, be careful with that because there are parts with no fence. You can just end up on the base. So again, just be mindful of that. So we're just gonna hang out just for a few more hours to see if there's gonna be a wave two. Again, no sign of the reds at all or anything like that. Um, there is an AWACS airborne heading this way, NATO 2-1, I believe. I'm gonna have a little look at it. Just uh, north of Gunforp, so not too long now. Matt Foster, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. So yeah, as you may have seen on the video, just a couple of things, I do need to update that because there is, if you're feeling posh, you can upgrade to the Posh Officers Club for the membership. Don't forget that, you know, it does support the Ted Connings B channel. As I mentioned on there, how you doing? Ooh, yoy. Wearing one of our Ah oh, Yeah t-shirts, which are available. How's it going? Hope you're good. So yeah, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, Ted Connorsby channel. Like I said, you can uh, support the channel and be part of it, um, and you do get perks back. And quite simply, the funding that we get, we put it straight back into it. Um, any Anything like that, any income that we get, we just feed it straight back into the channel to make it awesome. So whether it's putting fuel in the car, in the van actually, sorry, actually it could be Claire Bears, it could the Claire Mobile, we could be using that as well. Um, we also have, of course, if we're doing long distances, because we go to Lossy Mouth, Mac Loop, Lake District, Bryce Norton, everywhere. And um, you know, sometimes we do need a, a B&B, and of course I invested, that sounds good. Yeah. Sounds pretty awesome. Sounded good. So, yeah, so uh, if I could see it, I would uh, whack that on straight away. I think we can. But yeah, you know, um, I even invested some money into the uh, getting the, the perfect view for you on the balcony at, uh, at Bournemouth Air Festival, which was nice. 
you know stuff like that I'll just chuck it straight in I'll go for it to give you the best experience but as you know you do get some lovely YouTube perks um, you do get discount on the merchandise you, get, you do get members only video play team um, which made it fabulous that was really good and that's our most viewed members only video that was really good so I'm proud but I just wanted it to become a special special video just for you that's how far we go um, but yeah and again if you're feeling posh you can get a, become part of the posh officers club there is another um, two more benefits actually that are not on there because it does need updating if you enjoy the banter and the chat you don't have to wait for the live streams to talk to everyone and be on the live chats you can actually uh, take our um, we've got a discord server but it's just for members so you can register as soon as you become a member on the members perks there is a link and then you can register and it gives you the link to become um, connected to the huge uh, the discord server and the other one is that you get priority tickets to members only uh, TCS sorry start again uh, you get acts you get priority tickets to Ted Coningsby events so the first um, you know availability is out there for the members and then of course you can uh, join in and enjoy so I hope you're all good oh yeah see a NATO 2-1 not far away now <laughs> Actually, um, Rebecca, you haven't seen my, uh, you haven't seen the, uh, my pendant, actually. Check this out. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got a little food net. And then the, uh, oh, yeah, T-shirt. With, oh, yeah. So, for those who don't know. The TCS greet each other not with a hello or a hi, and we greet ourselves with an oi oi. That's the way we greet ourselves. Oh yeah. It's also said we've got our own vocab when you join the uh, Discord server. <laughs> some of our uh, lovely members have put some vocab. Uh, I think it was Dr. Soda and uh, also Matt Foster uh, did a, did something on the TCS vocab. But I'm sure Dr. Soda did the um, uh, did a, a big dictionary on. TCS vocab, which was brilliant. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice one. Thank you for that. Nice one. So you get NATO 2-1 just turning up by uh, Market Racing. That's the E3, very, very, uh, very shortly now. I should be able to get that for you now. Touch and go, I heard as well, being requested, which is all good. 
let's just hope that we don't get a lorry. <laughs> oh dear.
Peter Vare, how you doing? Frank uh, Washkinski, how you doing? Steve White, how's it going? Oh yeah, Hope you're loving that. Bit of bounceage, says Chris Oakley. Catherine Burkett, oh yeah. Bit of touchage, says Clive Bruce. Um, Nick Ward, if you're watching, there's no fencage here, really. It's just bushage. And foliage, which is an actual word, foliage, I like that.
Peyton Davis, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Amazing work, thank you very much. Amazing work, so entertaining. I should be working however I'm watching this with my boss. Guards March for you, Caton. Thank you very much to you and your boss for watching. Yeah, it's fine, you don't have to work when TCS is streaming, which it's usually five days a week, so uh, not a lot of work gets carried out during those times. Just waiting for the uh, AWACS, the E3. How's it all going? Thank you very much there, Kate Davis, for that. Chance to teddy bears.
<laughs> nice bit of flappage. Yeah, two right. Nice bit of flappage there. Century. So that's uh, also known as an AWACS, that's an uh, airborne early warning and control system. Steady Bears, uh, start hitting that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and enjoying the show. Hello, Bear, how you doing? So, yeah. Looks good as it will go. So yeah, that's the E3 Century as we've uh, established the uh, AWACS AWACS, and it's uh, an airborne warning and control system, or AWACS for short, and it's uh, an integrated command and control battle management, or C2BM surveillance, target detection and tracking platform. The aircraft provides an accurate real-time picture of the battle space to the Joint Air Operations Centre. AWACS uh, provides situational awareness of friendly, mutual and hostile activity, command and control of the area of responsibility, battle management of a theatre and forces, 
all altitude and all weather surveillance of battle space and early warning of enemy actions during joint allied and coalition operations. It's basically a modified 707-320 commercial airframe with a rotating radar dome which you can see on the top so it's like the, the black disc with the white strip on it. It's about 30 feet that's 9.1 meters in diameter and it's uh, fixed at 6 feet 1.8 meters thick and it's held at 11 feet 3.33 meters above the fuselage by the two struts. So it contains a radar subsystem that permits surveillance from the Earth's surface up to the stratosphere over land or water. Uh, the radar has a range of more than 250 miles. For those interested, that's uh, friend or foe or IFF subsystem can look down to detect, identify and track enemy and friendly low-flying aircraft by eliminating ground clutter returns that confuse other radar systems. See ya. Got some more F-18 starting up. Yes, really. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's good. I didn't hear it was two or four. Okay. Well, one is fine. Two's good. Four's amazing. So that's a good winner. I thought I could hear something, but I wasn't as clear this time. I didn't hear that one, but thank you. And uh, from a helpful young man just to my left, uh, confirming that there's some F-18 started up. Oh yeah, come on. So the RAF retired the E3 as they're going to get the uh, the new ones now with a wedge tail. So the wedge tail will be replacing the well replaced the E3 as it's uh, no longer in service. squadron are going to move to lossy mouth that were once here that were running the um, the e3s so the free at there's free aircraft so it'd be the uh, e7 that's the wedge tail aew mark one e7 and there are free aircraft that will be operated by sorry eight squadron my bad correction eight I'm getting my Roman numerals mixed up. Yeah, by 8 Squadron from, and it will be at RAF Lossy Mouth. And so the livery will, will feature the Arabian Dagger badge, which appears on the tail fin. The dagger, known as the Jambiwa, or Jambiya, uh, was adopted in recognition of the unit's long association with Arabia, and it is uh, sheathed to symbolize the squadron's guardian duties. So on the nose is the shield of NATO Airborne Early Warning and Control Force, uh, reflecting the UK's commitment to continue to provide the Alliance with surveillance, command, control, airspace battle, management and communications. So it's going to be quite exciting times. Not sure when they're coming out. I think it's next year, I think. Is it next year? Anyone know? So the squadron will move to Lossy.
So yeah, I believe it's next year the uh, the first E7s arrive at Lossy Mouth. That should be quite nice. Ted, you're right there now. How we doing there now? I'm good there, Ted. Now just uh, doing some more patrolling stuff. Oh, I, I know there now. I know I'm covered in uh, lots of foliage, Ted. But it's good as part of the camouflage routine there now. You know that, Ted. Uh, see the thing is with the R RAF regiment, you can throw us everywhere, and we we just blend in like you know what I mean there now. Good now, Ted. Look, I'm just going to do some uh, mushing. I just like throw myself in. Oh gosh. Are you all right there, mate? I'm all right, darn all. Busy just trying to s sneak in there and all. I like this little position there and all. You, you happy there now, Reggie, yeah? I'm all right, darn all. Teddy Bears Ted Connings be channeled live here at RAF Waddington for Exercise Cobra Warrior. Let's get 
some F-18s again. So we've got the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force CF-18 Hornets. So yeah, the uh, CF-18 or the CF-188 Hornet is the Royal Canadian Air Force equivalent of the American McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet. Single seat, carrier base, fourth generation fighter. Uh, like others, Canada elected to adopt the, uh, the naval-minded Hornet as a land-based fighter and took deliveries of 138 of the modern aircraft between 1982 and 1988. The aircraft were formally introduced uh, in the United States Navy service during 1983 and became a fixture of several national western air powers since. The McDonnell Douglas name now falls under the Boeing brand label as its subsidiary following the 1997 merger between the two formal rivals. So yeah, although, um, although its roots are um, for carrier, they, the, the, um, the Royal Canadian Air Force still use it as a land-based. So it's quite interesting to, to know that. Of course, it is their own sort of variant and includes uh, modifications. So yeah, with, with carrier origins and despite the um, Royal Canadian Air Force using it, in a land-based role, the CF-18 retained its folding wings and a rest of it, which still managed to play well in the compact short field operating uh, mentality. A uh, couple of other things that all models feature a false canopy painted along the underside of the nose section to trick enemy, a bit like Reggie. Uh, if only for a second, as to the exact position attack angle of the Canadian fighter during close-in work. Um, have a look. One of the addition was the night identification light added to the port side of the nose. The uh, CF-18 was largely the same aircraft featured in the American inventory and elsewhere. I believe that's one of the differences with the light on the port side has been taken out.
So it'd be a bit like the CF35 Lightning as well. So that'd be a uh, Royal Canadian Air Force variant. So on the port side, that's the left side, um, you'll find the spotlights, plexiglass housing on the left of the, of the aircraft won't have the actual spotlight inside. And again, as we mentioned, the other main difference of the CF-18 is the, uh, the false canopy painted underneath. Interesting. I think the ones that are on Q status are different. I think they have uh, different mods on there. The lazy route. <laughs> at the special blue patch upgraded from gifted uh, membership to squadrons that's uh k I've, all i've got is a k on that i can't see the rest of it oh no can have a look see if i can get the name someone i've got someone beginning with k He's upgraded, but I can only see the K. I can't see the name. Uh, let's have a look. Any ideas? So, ladies, gents, teddy bears. Matt Foster, 10 months, nice one. One, Matt, thank you very much. And uh, K, it, I'm, uh, I haven't got the name yet, but you've upgraded to the posh officers. Thank you very much. Catherine Burkett, thank you very much. Yeah, 
Catherine Burkett, thank you very much. Taxiing now by the sound of it. Is that taxiing out? Thank you. And that's uh, via Delta, which is Delta's just here. Um, should be able to see, uh, see if I can... Yeah, I'll have to lift out the camera for that one. Let's, let's do that then. So F-18's coming at us very shortly. They're taxiing out via Delta, which Delta is here, look. That's the yeah, taxi holding okay. point. And in red okay. is the uh, runway number, and in the black box there, that's the taxi holding point down to one. Yeah. Well, it's quite nice. We didn't have to wait too long for the next movement. So it's been pretty moderate, which is really good. That's what I wanted to get for you. Colin Penny, greetings to all from the deepest Hungary. How you doing? Uh, for those asking about the F-18s, they are coming out very shortly. Don't know the exact time, but they have been cleared to taxi, so, and that's Delta One, so. Was that them just then? Yeah, they're coming out now. Here we go. Oh, oh, get ready. So actually, now is the time. <laughs> Reggie, you are right down there now. Come right down now. Okay, man. Here we go. Oh, what's this? It's like a scene from a movie, I think, if that's what I think it is. Steady bears, it's time to share, time to care, time to hit the like, time to subscribe. Here we go, more F-18 Hornets.
I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, I'd say that would be it then for today. That'll be the second wave. So we'll just uh, wait for them to return. And that's us done for the day. Yeah, it's a bit emotional over there. Very emotional. check on the weather make sure we're okay this is what I'm expecting for when we go Lake District so I don't need it now I need a dry day tomorrow that is one of the reasons why I'm not going to be around tomorrow much it's just shocking I think we might be all right with this one I'm just going to check the weather now just to see what it's doing for here yeah apparently we're going to get it Apparently it's heading my way. That bit there, that one there is heading this way. If that's the case, I think it is coming this way actually. So it's just gonna be a quick downfall. Okay, let's get prepared. <laughs> so we'll see how it's going because it's uh, over there they're not so lucky but I'm ready for it should it come right. well it was nice to get uh, another a wave of two hornets which is always good According to my little app, 10 minutes is going to get me.
am I going to be lucky? It's just one blob of rain. And then it, it, it goes. And see if I can get away with it. Teddy, you good, mate? I might have to get all the bears in their little safe bit. to go over everything. This could be quite fun. Not. How we doing? Hope we're all good. How's all the subscribers coming along? How we doing? Okay, so... We need another 67, 64 to get to 28.7, which, which will be a nice nice way to uh, start the week. Come on. All right, so ladies, gents, and teddy bears, we're going to need more, uh, going to need more uh, subscribers here.
this on its way. Oh, 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 oh no. It's coming now, Ted. Oh my goodness, mate. Right, Ted, let's take Let's get cover. Feeling emotional now. Rain's closing in. Hasn't started yet. I'm sure it will. Here it comes. All good here now. All good here now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I think I'm gonna get absolutely drenched. Got the old rain jacket on there now. It's all good. How's it going, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? It's gonna be emotional. Um, yeah, it's, it's just here. It's got a really funny shape. I'll show you what I mean because it's it's. Uh, this is what I'm hoping I don't get, but I'm going to get, and I, uh, it's, it's doomed, isn't it? It's heading this way. The thing is, my only save is this gap. There's a gapage. There's gapage. Oh, yeah, I can feel it now. Here it is. Here it is. Right, where's that rain cover? Yep, it's here. Ah! <laughs> right, ladies, gents, teddy bears, hang in there. Well, at least I was prepared for it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna whack a rain jacket on here to protect the kit there now. Unfortunately, there's some bit, bit of rainage, bit of wetage going on, hang on. But we'll be all right, we're gonna be fine. It'll be okay, I'm all ready for it. Like a ready in. Then. Off you go then, Rain. Come on then. That's it. Right, Ted Connick's be wet right now. Oh, Ted, ask Ted. I need Ted to get covered up as well. Ted, your rain jacket. Poncho. I've just got to put Ted in his poncho a minute. Ted, get in there, mate, quickly. Ted's in his waterproof now, for those concerned. Um, here we go, it's gonna get a little bit of mosh. Just 
that we'll deal with the splats in a bit. We'll just let the rain do its thing and I'll... Uh, Good old Velcro. should be all covered up we're all good how are we doing we can continue Ted's covered up the equipment covered up just uh, need to get zipped up a little bit more So yeah, tomorrow is going to be absolutely awful tomorrow. Um, there's not a lot we can do. So we're just going to do, in the morning, get to Coningsby and then just go with it. See what happens. Keep going until we get destroyed and then go. And then bail out. Yeah, it was pretty spot on.
to there. Phil, take care, man. Phil Thomas, see you later. Andy Williams, who's uh, how's it going? Meth, Tim Borland, who's on here? Gary in, Sammy, Sammy B, Chris Brown. Chris Brown, how's it going? How's Cornwall? How's Margot? I'll be time, how's it going? It's raining Ted's. Right, should be clearing very shortly. It's just starting to just die off, and that that is pretty much it for rain. So yeah, we're looking at we're looking all good at Coningsby from about nine o'clock in the morning till twelve, and then that's it, game over. So, three hours, that'll do. Might get something, might not. Which is why I haven't really scheduled anything for tomorrow, although it is on the no Ted's. So I think that. Could be it for the rain. It was only a little sneaky sneaky. It was just a just a mild portion of emotion. Just a small portion, that's all it was. That might be it. I'll just wait a little bit before I get rid of the covers. Good. I 
little door. Why is it? Um, uh, someone's just asked about the growler. Well, there's also Super Hornet and Growler, and basically, uh, it's just another type of F18, shall we say? So the Growler is very similar to the F18 Super Hornet, but the most noticeable difference between the two um, is the gun and wingtip missile rails were removed. No, rain's coming back. So the EA-18G Growler is like a, a fourth major variant of the F-18 family and it combines the proven F-18F Super Hornet platform and a sophisticated electronic warfare suite. So built to replace the EA-6B Growler, the Growler is the first newly designed electronic warfare aircraft produced to more than 35 years. The aircraft also retains the FA-18EF's multi-mission capabilities uh, with its validated design and capability to perform a wide range of enemy defence and pressure missions. So yeah, you'll notice the um, there's some differences there between them. So like I said, the growl is similar, except that the difference is the gun and wingtip missile rails were removed. It is now chucking it. Beautiful. We're getting there, we'll be all right, we'll be all right in a minute. Come on, Rain, go away, go on, I've got an incoming. So the other thing about the uh, Growler that someone's asked is actually um, like an electronic attack aircraft. So it's capable of disrupting, deceiving or denying a broad range of military electronic systems, including radars and com communications. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite different as, as far as its uh, capabilities are concerned and, and its operational use. this out it's gonna be interesting I mean, look at the state of that screen <laughs> let's get this rain off here now let's get some of this rain there now It'll be a pan I feel like one of those window uh, those uh, windscreen cleaners you know at the traffic lights we still get them. Does anyone still have them? For those asking about the uh, Discord link, when you um, when you click the link and it takes you to the registration form, when you press uh, when you press submit, the link should be visible there. If not, it'll be emailed to you.
once you hit submit, the link appears on your screen. be the uh, snake flight which is the, uh, the shadow it's gonna be a wet landing <laughs> No, you don't, Laurie. No, you don't. No. Cool, you might want to slow down there, mate. more TCS here, aren't they? Of course. Right, let me just sort this camera out. Getting a bit emotional here with the weather. Keep raining then. <laughs> right, let's have a look what else we got. So that's gone round for another, another circuit. Yeah, so the, the link is different to what you've got. It's, it, it will give you a different link once you've registered. That's the thing. It should uh, pop up on the thank you for registering. There'll be a link on there. again snake 49 
again. With two lovely lorries waiting for the uh, to be on the TCS. Skim the lorries, nice one. couple of circuits thank you and now the sun's coming out now it's starting to dry up a little bit
Right, I think that's the rain done, finally, come on. Looks good. Still rain. Oh come on. It's there's no rain cloud. Come on, don't rain now. See that I took the cover off and it started to rain. It's typical that. But there's no rain cloud, so I don't get it. Really weird. Just for now. Really, uh, really strange weather.
was unexpected. Well, the uh, Amber Fenham. Beautiful. Having a moment with the TCS. Thank you very much there. Thanks, Grandma, for coming to see us. Roger Lowe, Roger Anthony Lowe, thank you, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you so much, I'll just get you a guards march when... Uh... Should be dry now, Ted. 
Um, we've also got the Phenom coming back again, which is good. With a rainbow, look at this. Oh, what a sight, it's lovely. I'm surprised the lights didn't come on actually, but they didn't. touch and go just wants a bit more rainbow doesn't it I'm not sure why the lights didn't come on actually CF18 Hornets to come back Cobra Warrior. And, uh, as, as we said, they are the Royal Canadian Air Force. Cromwell, come on.
Amir, thank you very much. Amir Aviation. Venom is doing touch and goes. Yeah, we've got a series of touch and goes coming up. It's all good. Come on, Ted, out you come, mate. It's dry now. Ted just coming out of his poncho to come and see the uh, see to his duty. Scarf march. Thanks, Amir Aviation. Sorry about that Judder, that just took me out that one. My goodness me! Oh, 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 oh yeah. Please do that one more time and I won't judder. Skim that lorry, go on. Got oh, one more, come on, please, to a lot of approach. Come on.
Oh yeah, baby. Oh, what we got here? Hello. Come on, Cramo. Come on. Cramo, come on. You can do it. Come on, Cramo. Well, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, it's the size Cobra Warrior. And I even got my second go on that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's us done, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. Thank you so much. Right, what I'll do is, right, just hang in there. I'll bring it lower so uh, me and Ted can uh, just hang in there. Getting lower. Right, well, how about that then? That was uh, pretty impressive. I seem to be on a little bit of a wonk here. There we go. Happy days, we're all good. Lovely, chubbly. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling? Hope you enjoyed that. Woo! That, as Margot would say, say, skush and whoosh. That was pretty impressive. Right, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, that was RAF Waddington, Cobra Warrior. Hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty relaxing and good fun. Really good to see the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force F-18 Hornets. Uh, amazing, absolutely wonderful. And, uh, oh, the lower, I'm glad he went round. Apologies for that, my hair's gone a bit flat. <laughs> ladies, gents, and teddy bears, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed Cobra Warrior. Uh, 
a little bit low key than last time due to the fact that there's only one country one air force using it so um yeah we really had a good time thanks everyone who's uh, given us super chats and gifted memberships thank you all so much and it's been uh, it's been good fun it's really good so tomorrow is going to be a little bit emotional it's going to be a bit of a half day i think it's going to be severe emotion tomorrow so We'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll go to Coningsby and just see how it rolls, but basically from about 12 o'clock, it's gonna be emotional. It's not gonna be that. So yeah, but we'll do our best, all right? So ladies, shins and teddy bears, thank you so much for tuning in and all the support, all the new subscribers and all the likes. So we did it again. Ladies, shins and teddy bears, have an absolutely awesome one. See you soon, wish you well. Oh yeah.